hosting uh, tonight. So uh, good job, uh, killing it. This this will be something. Uh, I can't I can't wait to see how this goes. Uh, best host ever. This is, this is a new show uh, featuring all of the regulars. Um, plus, Iza is here joining us. Uh, no, you regular. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and hey, you got uh, it right. How about uh, giving you a monthly spot to just do whatever you want? Um, yeah. <laughs> we'll see how Can I kill off a character? Sure. Uh, you just shoot <laughs> in the head. I... Just, just, yeah. <laughs> and oh. can, I run, can, I, can I run this into the ground like uh, fucking J.J. Abrams and Star Wars? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Sure. Uh, every, every franchise deserves that. Yeah. yeah. You just run it around. You'll be D and D. Game of Thrones, this shit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 Just pull a full season eight of Game of Thrones on this. Yeah. Um, just ruin all your character arcs. <laughs> anyways. Uh, um. And yeah, I gathered all the news. <laughs> so this will be fun. <laughs> uh, all right. Yeah. Let's go. Just... And that's just. Let's just get into it, because I don't have a, a thing. Carl's yeah. coming with the randomest shit to start us off with. But, uh, yeah, uh, also, just... if, you, if you don't know who we are by now, why are you listening to this? We, we abandoned the idea of introducing ourselves no, for let's a very do, long time. Let's do a Power Ranger style, Power Ranger style intro. Shudder, dance, 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 dance. Eric. Triceratops. Yeah. Uh, see, I don't know. Maybe it's my age. I was thinking like Boulder. It's like, and I'll form the head. <laughs> oh, I'm the knee. <laughs> I think we all know which part Eric is gonna choose. <laughs> I don't. I don't. What? Whatever part gets Bursitis. No, it's the Chris Evans part. <laughs> <laughs> uh, probably back or something uh, to that mm-hmm. effect. Uh, all right. Uh, let's just get right into it, gentlemen. Uh, yeah. So, a story that I'm sure we were all just uh, so shocked by. Um, the universe is going to become a comics exclusive. Wow, Chris, that yeah, was not. I, I was totally not expecting that. Not been <laughs> stunned silence. It's, it's um, honestly, I I feel like using it more now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, it's been limping towards that ever since it started. Like that's yeah, that's well, just been the, the natural yeah. endpoint for this. What's weird is it actually made good content that got cannibalized by the better, more thing that made more sense in HBO Max. Because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. like Doom yeah. Patrol and Harley Quinn are awesome. Now they're on HBO Max. Star Girl was cool. Now it's on CW. So like it made like they put cool stuff on there. It just never made sense. Well, yeah. yeah, that's that's the thing. Like they were, they were making products that were essentially for different services. Is what it came down to. Like, mm-hmm. yeah. Stargirl just seeing trailer for that. It's like, oh, that's a CW show. Why is this on DC yeah. Universe? Like, oh, that Doom Patrol is obviously not for CW. So why doesn't it go on? H- oh, it's on HBO Max. Now. Okay, like <laughs> it, it didn't make any sense. It yeah. why have these things available? Especially also though, that. you assume they knew they were making HBO Max at some point. Like, yeah, well, it yeah, speaks yeah. more to the issues Warner Brothers slash DC has had over the last several years. Mm-hmm. Issues? What yeah. issues? Yeah, yeah. Well, I don't know what you're talking about, Luke. Yeah, no issues. Yeah, because uh... the comics hunter like are all dead, and so yeah. and all the people who edited them are all fired. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> Yeah. I think you mean uh, draw uh, thrown over a cliff, Lou. Is, is what you mean? Oh. Um, and, uh, R.I.P. Stuff. Books of Magic. Gosh. Yeah, they got dropped through the moon door. <laughs> right. Uh, yeah. Um, so this is, by the way, for those who really want to know the the deep information on this, this will start in January uh, when DC Universe will take on the name uh, DC Universe Infinite, um, which is wow. Marvel. Why, why bother change? Why bother on the change nose. the name? On on the nose, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> Anything named Infinite is gonna fail hard. It's not gonna last. Yeah. Right. Yeah. No, it's, they they doom themselves immediately by calling it Infinite. We're gonna have to walk that back at some point. Um, well, from, uh, from I can, I can imagine the headlines the first time it crashes. DC <laughs> Universe Infinite Crisis. Oh God. God <laughs> I like doing a little bit of research. It seems that uh, this thing still doesn't. 
had Vertigo comics on it. And I don't know if that means they're transitioning mm-hmm. everything over to Black Label or what the case is. But... I think that's more, it's the Black Label thing. Okay. I, just... I'll check. I literally, I'm going to go check right now. Wait, are they going to put the comic with Super, uh, Batman's dick in it? <laughs> no, that's edited out. <laughs> yeah. Damn it. Damn. It's for $5. Why? Is that, that going to be a valuable, that going to be a valuable rare comic? I, I honestly oh, yeah, bet. Actually. Yeah, kind of. Mm-hmm. I honestly bet if you go on eBay right now, you could find it for like five thousand dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's out there trying. Oh, let me see here. It was damned, was it? That yeah, it's damned. damned issue one, uncensored. <laughs> Triple edition. X. Triple X. Yeah. <laughs> speaking of, speaking of uh, superhero day, <laughs> Chris Evans. Oh yeah, Chris oh, yeah. Evans. Oh. Chris Evans tweeted out his dick. Yeah, and he said, and that meme that said, guard that pussy. Guard that pussy. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, that's, that's the most wholesome scandal you're going to get. I mean, nowadays, you know. Right. Guard, yeah. Guard that pussy is so funny. <laughs> yeah, and his response days later was priceless. Uh, now that I have. Mm-hmm. Uh, that was great. Yeah. Um, yeah, there was. I, I think we can kind of slowly move on if you guys find that other stuff. Yeah. That the um, uh, the last uncensored issue one hmm. sold for fifty bucks. Wow! So it... for one hundred fifty bucks, I wasn't sure what I heard there. Fifty. Fifty dollars. Yeah. All right. That's still if you if you need it, you can get it for a relative. <laughs> if, you, if you need it, if yeah, you're yeah. absolutely right. like dying of thirst in a desert somewhere. <laughs> well, it's you really know, weird. thirst is probably the right word for that hunter. Right. I mean, <laughs> Technically, most of us have seen Batman's dick. Seen the film yeah. Gone Girl. Yes. Technically, seen Batman's dick. Yeah. So like, ben, what, what's, what's hilarious is, like, Ben at the side of Ed Ben Affleck's penis won an Oscar that year. So. I mean, <laughs> yeah. Wait, it has Robert seen, Pattinson seen, uh, been bored? It was a great time. Yeah. <laughs> has Pattinson been nude? Yeah. No, he's, yeah, he's a never nude. Towers. He's a never yeah, nude. The, what are you talking about? Yeah, <laughs> With a amazing. Everyone's Amy. been nude. <laughs> And Eric, I think you're right. I cannot find any Dark Horse stuff. They have weird things. Like, they have Saga the Swamp thing from 82, but I think that's already post them moving him to DC. Hmm. That's, no, that, that is post. Isn't it? Well, uh... The images have the DC label. I don't see anything yeah. with a Vertigo label. Yeah, I, I don't know. Like, Saga the Swamp thing wasn't Vertigo, though. It was before Vertigo existed, if I remember correctly. Um, can, can I ask a question? So what do you, what do you think would be more rare and valuable? The uh, the Batman Dong issue or the issue of uh, X-Men where Kitty Price is the N-word? <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, oh God. <laughs> Wait, really? Debate amongst yourselves. <laughs> I, to be honest, I'm not sure if it's really real anymore or a meme, but I think it was... um. There's a black <laughs> character talking to Kitty Pryde and he's talking Eric. about, like... It what was about... a weird, weirdly written like thing where like oh, they were oh comparing... that was uh, God loves me oh. kills I think oh God. that's a famous book like that's yeah. what X two is based on I think yeah um, <laughs> I don't think I don't know if she was the one who said it oh no she is yeah oh God that's the one um, where Stryker points and it's like are you telling me that thing is human is pointing at Nightcrawler yeah yeah that's it uh, yep yeah. And Remember no, that wasn't. Was it wasn't. Prize. It wasn't from God Loves Man Kills. It was just from a particular issue. I don't understand why. Well, there's all comics <clears throat> are like that. There's an issue of a Superman comic where Lois uses Kryptonian technology to change oh, herself God. black. Yeah, oh, I am God. curious. Black, <laughs> yes, I think, yes. is the name of the issue. Yeah, I think I think Amy Adams could pull it off. <laughs> 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 well, I was gonna say if anybody not could do it but would do it, I would say be Scarjo. Oh but, man! Oh god! Right. Uh, she's a very yeah. black widow. So. Right after she plays a tree, um, that'll. <laughs> yeah, she's playing Groot. You hear that? She's yeah. replacing Vin yeah. Diesel. Oh. <laughs> uh, yeah. You know. Yeah. But speaking of things that, as opposed to not coming out this year, because I don't know <laughs> if that movie will, but maybe something that will is uh, Wandavision. How? I, yeah. How? Oh yeah, so this it is... must be already all done, right? Well, it's been a while since they announced it. We knew about this for like years, right? Yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's been confirmed that it won't be pushed back. Is basically the, the gist of well, the story. So it must be shot. It must be shot. 
Yeah. 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 Also, like filming, it, depending on like if it's only a cast of like four or five people, I could have seen them going back and like finishing it up. Like, yeah. Well, if it's I all think, like on a set. I think. I remember, remember they had a they had a trailer by like was it like Super Bowl of, like last year or something like that? Yeah. Maybe yeah. I'm wrong. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, I think they, the yeah, thing did, with all of the uh, with the Disney Plus shows was that they were all going to be connected, and that's why they were pushing them back because they never mm-hmm. got to finish. Um, uh, what was it? Uh, Falcon and Falcon Winter, Winter Soldier. Winter yeah. 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 Well, yeah, yeah. They still had reshoots, which yeah, they are doing now. Socially distanced reshoots. I don't know yeah, exactly because Falcon and Winter Soldier is but... connected to Widow, and I believe Scarlet mm-hmm. Vision or not the whatever. Like, WandaVision is connected to Doctor Strange. Yes, hmm. they were saying that. I'm get, he, he appears. This makes me think it's maybe less connected than what they were initially saying. I'm sure they did can into each other, but they're not probably not like, yeah. fully. I'm guessing it's the end of the 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 series sets up like she's a problem, and that's what Strange is going to have to deal with in his movie. Probably, so, perhaps. Yeah. I the the learning is like that all of these characters, these new characters will appear in the movie somehow. So like Moon Knight and like Miss Marvel and all these people like connect back. Well, Miss Marvel's a movie. Yes. Wait, it is? Yes. Yeah. I thought did it was a TV you? show. No, Ms. Marvel's did, you guys, did you guys sense the, uh, the joy in Hunter's voice when you said Moon Knight? Yeah, no. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. The four shows were the second, the second round were Moon Knight, uh, which we've heard nothing about She Hulk, which we'll get around to, and I can't remember the other. T- I think it was because well, there's, there's sure supposedly there's Blade content coming, and I have no idea. What if this about, is a well, that's a movie. That's, that's a movie. movie. Yeah, that movie. is a movie. Yeah. I think because if I had to guess, Mahershala uh, doesn't want to do a Marvel TV show again. That's just um, speculation. I think it's also right. because he's but, fucking. He can carry a movie. So why not? yeah, yeah exactly. he has two Oscars. Yeah. Right. I- I- exactly. Um, also, he may not have appreciated uh, getting uh, killed off midway through the season. Well, well, honestly, I don't think he, I don't think he minded because like this, the way that they said the story, it was just like well, it he, made sense. They killed him off because he was leaving to go film his second in the movie he won his second Oscar for. Yeah. Right. He's a busy man. Yeah. He is. Yeah. He's got he's got he things to do. Especially uh, that year, he did like five yeah. things that year. <laughs> Um, so here, Hunter, I have the list. So it's Falcon, Winter Soldier, WandaVision, Loki, Hawkeye, which is like real nebulous right now. <laughs> uh, Still, oh, Ms. Mar- Redemption. Yeah, it has Ms. Marvel <laughs> as a TV show, Moon Knight, okay. She-Hulk, and What If, which What If is the animated. Yeah. All right. Which is was- also the uh, last time that uh, that Chadwick Boseman right. will be playing the role of. Uh, oh, like any- you, you know what I mean, though. No. That's that yeah, was yeah. His last he's one. um, he did- he's the Chala right. Star Lord. That's pretty sick. His, his yeah. last like time playing the character in in that. That's that's going to be acting for it. It's going to suck. It's going to suck, gonna- but like it yeah. looked, what they showed us looks so good. Yeah. Um, but that's yeah, yeah, so that episode's that. gonna hurt. So yeah, yeah. I'm gonna uh, try. Just, uh, go ahead. Hmm? Uh, was somebody about to say something? No. Uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, it's like, <laughs> if we're gonna stick with the TV stuff, like the Ms. Marvel well, hired the Bad Boys three directors, which well, so I, I had one more I like couple things oh. to add on the Wandavision. And, okay. Because there's some stuff that I don't think we reported previously. Um, they're saying that uh, WandaVision includes returning as Darcy, um, uh, Randall Park returning as the FBI Jimmy Woo. Oh, yes. Yeah. Nice. Um, and then they older Monica Rambeau, um, which makes mm. quite a bit of sense. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then Catherine Hahn is in this show playing Nosy. So just based on those characters yeah they're not giving her a title or i'm guessing i her but we just won't know i'm guessing she's like a figment of wanda's imagination possibly in like in that like leave it to beaver kind of thing the black and white probably i wouldn't be surprised though if like at the very end of the season it's like a reveal that she's some pre-existing villain she's some I, version of the uh i think it's the emerald wizard or something like that 
What? Um, <laughs> what? what? <laughs> uh-huh. From, uh huh. From he was. I don't know if he was introduced in that. Doctor Pandemonium. Film. What? No, there's Is a there guy. Who, thing is that he's either the Scarlet Wizard or the Scarlet, or not the Scarlet. The Emerald Warlock, I think, is his name. What? No. He was, he's yeah. No, he was introduced in. Uh, I am Scarlet googling Witch. this. His is name is Emerald? Ian. Yeah, he. The characters. Emerald Warlock. The Emerald Warlock. Well, he's introduced as like it's meant to be like a a one upmanship thing. Like you're the. I'm Scarlet the Scarlet Witch. Witch, and then she like destroys him. I don't. I, I don't know, <laughs> guys. Him. I'm waiting for Screen Rant to tell me who he, who she really is. <laughs> right, yeah. no, that, oh, he's a Kevin, new character? He's from Kevin Hunter. He's a new he's from character. He's from that Scarlet School and people should go check out. Oh, oh is that the one that I... Uh... Eric, you just dropped out. Yeah, yeah oh, Eric died. Sorry. Uh, was, that, uh, was that the one that James Robinson wrote? Yes. Yeah. Okay. I, could, I thought this show was supposed to be kind of on the, the King run of like the visions ish just guessing Lou. she could be anybody she, I, I don't think she's mode off but as a joke that um, she's patty who, spivet we've already been over this uh, exactly she's <laughs> existing between dimensions. she's jason uh, todd <laughs> can i can i uh can i point out though i feel like um the fact that they're having these you know these other characters like randall park and um monica rambo mm-hmm. and stuff um they're you know still connecting to the previous stuff but they're also like gonna expand like they're probably setting up Monica Rambeau for whatever spinoff she's going to be on, you know? Right. Yeah, or, yeah. and probably a role yeah. in Captain Marvel 2. 2 will take mm. place? Yeah. I don't remember them. You mean Captain that. Goose the movie Captain Marvel 2? Mm. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, forgive me. The, event, the Adventures of Goose, uh, Captain yeah. Marvel 2. Um, uh, yes. I feel like uh, the internet is hearing what we're talking about because I clicked on an ad, like a thing, and there is a Captain Marvel trailer playing. Oh, God. oh no! Um, speaking of uh, the <laughs> segue, uh, so Miss Marvel uh, hired directors, and I guess it is a show as we've already. Uh, yeah. Out. Um, I'm excited about this because of Bad Boys for Life, uh, which they directed. But have any are any of you interested in this? Have you seen that movie I... yet? I, I've, not I've seen, seen Bad Boys yeah. for Life, and I think the story, the writing is better than the previous ones. I honestly, uh, yes. <laughs> I, the, the thing I like wow. most about it is they got an actual Pakistani person to. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's a uh, Char- Charmin Obeid Chinoy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And uh, Mira Minon is what I'm seeing on mine as well. Um, I don't know if she's a producer or if she's another writer. But uh, it's, Mira, a, it's a I'm full team here. of people. So. So the one I said, Obad Chinoy has two Oscars mm-hmm. under her belt, and Miran Manon, Manon has directed The Magicians, The Walking Dead, and Man in the High Castle, which okay, is like yeah. so she has a lot pretty of high TV praise credits. Yeah. yeah, from what I'm seeing. Um, oh, Outlander, nice. Um, <laughs> uh, you and your romance yeah. novels. <laughs> <laughs> don't don't you judge me. Um, but yeah. This is, I mean, this looks like a good team. Um, again, just based off of Bad Wolf, I agree is that the story in that movie is really good. It's, I, yeah, I it has stakes to it, and it's, like, personal. Expected. Yeah, it's, yeah. Like, it's personal, and it has stakes, and it's very, like, it's still, you know, funny, but it's also, like, a little yeah. grittier, almost, and the other one's kind of more serious, like, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, they take a lot of it well, very <laughs> seriously. But the act good. It was, like, it was very competent. Um, and yeah. I Bad Boys Four is probably up in the air. Up in the... Well, yeah. What else has Will Smith got it. going around? Well, there's there's also other stuff, Lou. <laughs> <laughs> Bad Boys Four, um, perhaps. Because uh... Men in Black's kind of dead now, isn't it? Yes, that is also. And Independence <laughs> Day. Yeah, we'll see. Is he gonna do Hitch Two? Oh, were all those, it, were all those movies involved in the entanglements? Day. Yeah. Um, and they just think, what's the last one? Uh, Two Hitch, Two Furious? <laughs> oh, I feel like he's the one actor. I have, like, a very bad opinion of, like, Will Smith for some reason. Like, I feel like he's the one actor that would never do a Fast and Furious movie. 
I mean, I think he would. I think, I feel like he's too like, good. Yeah. Like he thinks he's too good. I think at this I point he don't. would. I think I think he's realized some of the mistakes he made in the past. Uh, I think he could do it if he could be the villain, which might be good. So, at are the you moment, t- the way- are you telling me the guy who is in that Scientology <laughs> propaganda movie, I can't remember the name of, oh, is after, too good for after. Fast and the Furious? Yes. Yeah, because he's yeah, a secret I mean, Scientologist, so... You think, the, you think the guy who made that, who, who admits that he made a shitty movie with his son? You <laughs> think, you think no, the Jamini man, the Jamini man, you think, oh, he's, <laughs> you think he's too good to be Fast and the Furious? But that's the thing. Will Smith is so. I feel like my like. I think Will Smith so up his own ass that he can only be in a movie where he's both the good guy and the bad guy, and we don't know which so, one is which. I'm gonna actually, I love this theory. <laughs> I'm gonna half agree with Lou and half disagree. I don't yeah, think he would be yeah. in the movies that Vin Diesel is. I 100% yeah. think he could be in Hobbs and Shaw two through seven. Um, yeah. See, I thought at 100%. first you were talking about like Bloodshot, and I was like. I think Bloodshot's better than the last three Will Smith. No, I think, I think Will Smith really would be a star. He would overshadow Vin Diesel, so Vin Diesel probably wouldn't want that. But like, right? Will Smith, I don't think Will Smith is that up his own ass. Like he's. I don't know if he'd play a villain, and that's the only way I could see him fitting into that universe. Well, because that's how everybody gets fit into that universe, and then they become so, a good guy. I think he knows that. I mean, I don't think it's really worked for him, but he. I think he knows that him playing a villain is more interesting or even just like a complicated antagonist, not necessarily yeah. a hard B villain. Yeah. Like um, Hancock. <laughs> right. Exactly. Like Hancock. He knows that that's a little bit more interesting. So even if he would kill funny, people, this come. <laughs> <laughs> was the Jesus plot Christ. of the movie. Unfortunately, it has, it never comes up. My <laughs> angels. Honestly, can oh, I've seen the... thing about, one thing about Will Smith, I feel like, uh, I hope he like secretly has a cameo in Suicide Squad two and appears at the end and like shoots someone. Yes. Yeah. I hope that I hope they, they do what exactly they did in Independence Day two and they just mention he got killed like off the. Who can kill Deadshot? Dead, look, Deadshot no, is you just have, fucking... You just have uh, what is Bloodsport? Isn't that Aegis Elba's character? You just have yeah. him say he killed him. No. <laughs> And then at the end he comes back, no, you did it, and he shoots him. <laughs> you just no, you just have him shoot a guy. You say there can only be one. And... Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, God. No, because oh, God. Bloodsport, Bloodsport shoots Superman with a kryptonite bullet. That's his big fucking. You know? mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. It would be interesting um, if Idris Elba took his face off like a Mission Impossible thing. Uh, he revealed himself to be B. Will Smith. Oh, uh, see, I'm thinking it'd be so much better if it was right. worse because it's James Gunn and it was like the old school Total Recall. Where it just mm. really ridiculous. <laughs> it's the robot that has to open up, Two and it's the. Weeks. Oh my god! Weeks. But, but it's like, oh, you, right you guys are opens up. Hey, and Will Smith's not above doing a shitty cameo. He was in one of the shittiest movies of all time. Um, oh, right. Richard's Tale. That movie where he plays Satan. Oh where yeah. Where he plays Lucifer in a Jimmy Holy Hendrix shit. T-shirt. You've an, you've awakened a memory deep within me. I thought I repressed. Uh, what movie? It is Winter's one Tale. of the worst. Winter's, Winter's Tale. Tale. It's yeah. one, of, one of the girls from Downton <laughs> Abbey and the Penguin. Well, it, I'm making up, I'm making up shit, man. You can't make up. No, movies. it's real. Uh, it's, yeah, it's a real movie. movie. Russell Crowe plays a demon. Right. And There's a Carl horse that's called Dog. That's an angel. Um, <sighs> it's a weird fucking. It takes place in two I, different timelines. Yes, it's the Jennifer it's the Connelly's who, in it. Yeah, it's the guy who wrote Batman and Robin directing it. Oh, there's your problem. Well, no, no, no. <laughs> so it's a very famous book, and uh, Scorsese, I think, wanted to make it at one point, and then said it's, the book yeah. is unfilmable. And who the guy who made that's it been cut out around for like ever. That the guy who made it cut out two thirds of the book. Huh? Yeah. And Will Smith's Ooh. character is not in the book, and his character is Lucifer who Russell Crowe refers to as Lou, and he hangs out in a black box with one light bulb reading, I think, Sung Tzu while wearing a Jimi Hendrix t-shirt, but they're in um, turn-of-the-century New York. The every time you see One Important question? Like, why the fuck did you yeah. watch it? Yeah. I'm married. I think we all well, it watched was, it. It was, it was on How Did This Get Made. That's yes. yes. I watched I it watched. before that, but yeah. 
yeah. How do they get made? Back in the day, used to get me to watch a lot of things that I otherwise mm. would never have fucking touched. It uh, also has, think... has an amazing Sorry. cast. Like, yeah. say, uh, how did this get made? Is for you to not watch the movies because they're bad. <laughs> yeah. Well. <laughs> sometimes. Know, sometimes. Yeah. No, they, they do good movies too. They do good movies too. But like, sometimes well, I need to make myself suffer. Do, uh, that is, yeah. <laughs> sometimes I need to know what they're talking about. Yeah. That's so it's not like, just them. Like I've watched. Uh, movies that like Connor's done mm-hmm. on movie dumpster because yeah. like yeah sometimes like feeling pain is good yeah well, also, sometimes I want to suffer that's all I'm saying right yes also like if you're listening to our steel episode and you haven't watched steel, <laughs> what's wrong with you? <laughs> yeah mm-hmm. I know someone where we're doing like the uh, the other show we do on here where we're watching shitty movies and mm-hmm. I've sat and we watched for a recording. Uh, Artemis Fowl, one of the worst movies ever. <laughs> uh, Bloodshot, what are the, oh my god. Hmm. Oh, Josh Gadvor.mp4. Oh my god. No, what was the one we just did that I goddamn hated? That was so long. Lone Ranger, fuck that movie. <laughs> yes. That movie's like three hours long and good. Are you angry something. that there were no werewolves, Lou? Are you <sighs> furious that there were no I, werewolves? You know what? I am. <laughs> When you told me that, I I was actually legitimately mad all day because oh. they... every five seconds when they say Wendigo, and I'm like, the fuck is going on? It's like that should have been a werewolf. These cowboys should have been werewolves. It oh, would have been yeah. so great. The, the best performance William Fickner has ever done in his life is in this shithole of a movie. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking great. Wow. Um, it's it's yeah, it's almost as distracting as Johnny Depp being. In uh, being alive, red face, but painted yeah. white. I'm one sixteenth Cherokee, I think he said. Which <laughs> oh, oh Christ! No, I think it's worse when there's not the climax, but it's a big action scene, and they kill mm-hmm. all the actual Native American, American Indian actors in the movie. That, but that <laughs> is that is not something to brag about. Mm, yeah. Anyways, <sighs> uh, Captain, what are we talking about? Miss um, Marvel. I, or uh, yeah, Miss Marvel. I'm excited. Uh, yeah. Just based off of these people's uh, credits, credits and uh, again, yeah. these directors. I feel like question, question, uh, question. Uh, Miss Marvel is this Kamala Khan? Yes. Yes. I, yes. Fuck I mean, yeah. I'm... Fuck yeah. yeah. I think there's a big reason why she's the lead character in uh, Avengers. Yeah. yeah it's, that's it's the show. Oh yeah, they're yeah. they're 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 not like. Which... Hiding. Which she's fucking awesome in that game. And I yes, love it. Court Moon Knight in the game. Can we talk about <laughs> can we transition though to like the other big the, like their story, which is they cast She Hulk and it's one of my favorite actresses of all time. Yeah, oh, yeah no. the Disney Plus one first if you, if that's yeah, what you I want. think it makes more <laughs> sense to put them yeah. together, but like Tatiana sure. Maslany is one, it's also interesting, like I, she, they've been circling each other. I feel like for a while. I feel like I read a story that like she met with Disney like a year or two ago. Well, it wasn't just Marvel though. She's been, she was in the uh, the running to do Star Wars stuff for yeah. a while. Um, Thank she, God they, she didn't, huh? Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. oh, so they they wouldn't they would have given her a role in one of the movies and they completely ignored mm-hmm. her. In the I, I in the think she right. would have either been. I think she would have been in talks for like around when Rogue One was casting. Okay. She would have been like uh, Cole Cole Bounty Hunter with like two lines. <laughs> yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. Right. Yeah. Yeah. The, the the character that they had to slot Gwendolyn Christie back in to play uh, before they decided to not have her just be dead uh, and Jesus give her Christ. nothing to do. Um, yeah. But yeah, Ta- Tatiana Maslany. Um, I know Lou knows Tatiana Maslany pretty well, but. The rest of you, do you have much exposure? I know she's an old no. rock, which I, I never yeah. watched, but I know it got good praise, and she has good rating. Yeah, yeah. So that's what I know was, her from, and I love that show. She yeah. was, uh, um, fuck. What is that? No, I'm thinking, who's the Russian doll girl? That's not her, right? That No, that's not that's her. That's not her, no. no. Yeah. That's, um, no, Leon. <laughs> Natasha Leon. That, yes. Yeah, that's yeah. Natasha Leon. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, very different people, Hunter. They, they I don't should get Natasha, I don't they should get Natasha Leon to play like She Hulk's best friend though in the show. They should. Yes. They absolutely should. Well, she's actually friends with um Hellcat, at least in the books. Yeah. The yeah, yeah. She Hulk run that I read. Yeah. Um, I, no, they're I all a, um one time as a kid, I came across this like this is Ultra Shadow. 
up. Dude had a bunch of old comics in there. He sold me for like pocket change. And um, one of the comics is She Hulk, and I read it, and it's actually pretty funny. Like, it's a lot of good humor in She Hulk comics. That well, might have been yeah. Peter David stuff then. Yeah, and based on the director, it seems, or like the showrunner, which is uh, I can't remember what's her name from um, Rick and Morty. And it makes Rick sense of. I'm sorry. I, I didn't even hear what you said. I'm sorry. Pickle Rick. Rick. It's a, it's a, it's um, brick and mortar. Um. <laughs> Uh, that she, like it's going to be a funnier show, which I think makes sense because yeah. it's an interesting. Because like to get her, she can definitely play like the lawyer thing and to play like the idea mm-hmm. of she changes and releases her inhibitions. Mm-hmm. And I think you could really keep the cost of the show fairly low by basically mm-hmm. not showing the She Hulk form too much and making well. I- it- well- well, these are supposed yeah. to have the budgets of the movies. That's the thing. Well, we'll yeah. so I don't know if that. Said. Yeah, yeah. the nature of She Hulk in the books, she's never hulked out to quite the extent. Sometimes, um, there's sometimes so, when she does lose it and she gets a little more feral, but most of the time she's like when she controls yeah. it, she's more. What it does is it like it uncages her inhibitions more. Like she yeah. goes from being like a mousy lawyer to yeah. being like super right. overconfident and. <laughs> more sexual in many ways yeah. so it'll be interesting to see how they play yeah that. she had sex with juggernaut but the, um, <laughs> what? Like, oh, yeah. that, was the, that was a bit in the comics for like years and yeah. they, what like, the fuck they explained hey, it in the weirdest way ever I but missed, there was I a, what he said he uh that she hulk had sex with juggernaut and eventually they explained it that there was a second jennifer walters from another I'll like a break the marvel universe's <sighs> And then, so the original six one six one, and they switched places. So, like, sure. they made to make She Hulk more. Yeah. Oh yeah, I can one up that. I can one up that. Mm. See, well, Old Man Logan, which is great, but it's Frank Miller, <laughs> and no, Mark Mark Miller, no, I think, is it? which is like I mean, Mark, Old Man Logan, yeah, no, but Mark, and that, yeah, uh, She Hulk fucks the Hulk, and they have inbred redneck Hulk baby. Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. exactly. Well, he, as, they, as, they don't fuck. Yeah. He, I'll take them to the universe, but still, I get. Yeah. I mean. Yeah, yeah. David but, Boyer was just like masturbating furiously when he read <laughs> that. Just, just God. Uh, well, I wonder if this uh, She Hulk show will have an episode that covers how she has to uh, defend Star Fox from being a rapist. I that's the mm-hmm. number one thing I always remember She Hulk from. Mm-hmm. And they're making an internal Eternals movie. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, uh, Thanos's brother is uh, is horrible. He's, he's super rapist. Power. He's he's the, 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 the oh, right. Yeah, no, right. That's not that's not his character. No, that's, Wait, uh, he's a different character. Um, yeah, Star Fox's superpower is date rape. Yeah, <laughs> remember this from the uh, from Alias, actually. It's all coming back to me. Um, yeah. uh, the Sylvester Stallone is Star Hawk. Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. Star Hawk yeah. is yeah. different. My bad. He that's hooks true. up with his sister. Yeah, not obviously totally different. Do. Do. Use it all. Star Wait, Fox what? can like. Yes. Uh, in the movie, the what's her name? Um, oh my God, she's in the the Star Trek TV show. The the or no, she's not. Who's the Asian mm, actress that you know when? No, that has the cameo in Guardians Two. Oh, oh you're talking about oh. Tom, um, not Tom Cruise. Um, oh, Michelle Yeoh. Michelle Yeoh. How dare you not it. know Michelle Yeoh? Is Yo. it Michelle Yeoh? I just I think I so. said it's Michelle Yeoh. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. Playing, yeah. 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 The character she's playing is his sister, but they're not biological sister, brother and sister, and they mm. hook okay, up. Okay, gross. Oh, it's like Savage Dragon then. Gross. So at what oh, point oh, did no, she I'm get stuck in, her I'm head stuck in a washing machine. In a, God damn you. <laughs> what are you <laughs> doing, step brother? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, I I'm pulling the lever on this train right now. Um, <laughs> just n- nope. Uh, um. Anyways, uh, yeah, Tatiana Maslany sounds like a great casting choice for all of this. Um, Definitely. Yeah, with the orphan black of it all, where she played like fifty characters, nine, I think nine or ten characters. Yeah. Um. One of the most complicated shows ever, <laughs> probably, yes. just in terms of characters on screen played by one person. Um, so again, perfect for this. 
uh, whatever tone they go with, I think it will be interesting. Was what was the uh, the other shows that uh, they announced? Was how how are the duck was one of them, correct? Or was he? Just- that no, that that was a cartoon and that got canceled. No. Okay, yeah. that was the one. Uh, well, it's the one at Disney. Plus, show yeah. of Howard the Duck, Wong, and Mbaku in New York. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, yeah, yes. Of cops. Yeah. Well, I ask because he, again, this is all from the She Hulk. Yeah, they ran they around for a bit. Yeah. Um, so I'm curious yeah, all those animated that. shows got canceled because there's supposed to be yeah. Howard the Duck. Was that the one Kevin Smith was doing? And then Pat Oswald was doing Modoc. Modoc. Yeah, yeah, although I think I, the Modoc is still happening. Yeah, one of was, them is still Murdoch, happening. Yeah, Modoc is the one that really were already in production. Yeah, already it's. Uh, I think Hit Monkey yeah. was one of them. Yeah, Hit Monkey was one. Howard yeah. the Duck. There was four mm-hmm. of them. It was like Agents of Hate or something like that. Something like that. Yeah. Yeah, um, I think you're right on the Agents yeah. of Hate one. Yeah. Hmm. So I think those um, three got done, and Modoc I think is still happening. Yeah, I think it was yeah. too far for them to cancel it. Yeah. Yeah, well, they'll just have yeah, one season come out. But yeah, we can also oh. look forward to a Hellstrom or whatever the fuck it oh, is. Oh, yeah. God. Why are they still mm-hmm. making that? No, it was already I mean, filmed. That's why. Yeah. Uh, yep. It's ready to go. Um, um, I want them to do what? obscure mm-hmm. uh, White Tiger. He's an obscure character, but White Tiger's kind of badass. Oh, White Tiger. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know? yeah. yeah. Oh, it uh, was, actually, you were close, Hunter. It was the offenders. Oh, right. Mm. Yeah. Um, and White Tiger is actually a woman now, if I remember Yeah, she's correctly. a Spanish yeah, yeah. woman, right? Yeah. There's different, yeah. yeah. The first yeah. one was named Hunter, wasn't it? I think the first I think the first guy is like Puerto Rican and then the woman's Colombian, but I'm not His name uh, could be something like that. Yeah. His name's Hector, yeah. not Hunter. Whoops. Yeah, she, yeah, wow. she was in uh, I think the Bendis Avengers run and she was she was pretty rad. I didn't really know a whole yeah. lot about uh, her until Ava I remember. Ay- 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 Ayala. Okay. He's the current one. I guess. Hmm. Pretty sick. Yeah. But yeah, right. um, yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, I guess any last thoughts on that one before we go to, uh, I guess, what is our final no. Marvel story of the night? Or Marvel, Marvel, I should say, because there yeah. is another MCU thing coming up. MCU. Um, all right. Um, yeah. Uh, so Jonathan Majors is uh, joining the MCU. Fuck I yeah. Called yeah. it. But it yeah, was a little disappointed because I wanted him to play uh, Isaiah Bradley. <laughs> yes, the, the Black Captain oh, yes. America. But yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, that would be um, interesting. This... But I feel like it'd be too small of a part. Like this could mm. be a much meatier role for him. Yeah, yeah. I, the wording is. I feel like it's weird and kind of um, like they don't really know what's going on. A lot of it feels like okay, well that suggests something completely different from what was said previously. At least when I was reading through this after this first got announced, because um, they're saying that uh, there could be a twist to how the character is featured in future films. Um, but as of now, he is like in villains in the next installment uh, in the franchise. Uh, Peyton Reed, uh, who's home with uh, Jeff Loveness, penning the script. Uh, let's see, what were, what were the other details? Um, here? can I can I just this is just a theory. Mm-hmm. This is just based on um what King is and what King does in comics. Mm-hmm. So if they bring King into the MCU, right, and even yeah. even if he's not like the main main big bad, he might be like a, co- a constant threat because uh he time travels, right, and he uses yeah his, yeah. his yes. he'll take someone's like child and kind of like make them a warlord. Yeah. So yeah. Tony Stark that... has a kid. Kid. Mm-hmm. Tony Stark has a kid. Fucking Ant Man has a kid. Mm-hmm. Like, well, they already introduced like these young characters that he can kind of use to be, become like. Hmm. Oh, well, he's gonna brainwash the kid to make well, the that's world kind of what like, happened right. in the comics. Uh, yeah, he I'm became, saying, like, they're gonna do this in the movie. Iron Lad. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I mean, yeah, well, well, yeah, that would be that could be something. Um, I mean, just well, to see the, like who who he, who he makes like his protege. Well, the the other thing is with Kang, like, there's also the uh, the less evil version of him known as Immortus, which is mm. him in the future mm. and it's the same guy but he's generally generally trying to be a good guy but oftentimes yeah, ends up becoming a bad guy it's older king i think wait a minute yeah i have an idea mm. so what if the was it like you know you know Thanos is dead right so what's the next big bad like villain is whoever he has a uh, king's protege so it could be like in the future also oh. tony stark's daughter the okay, so you know what I mean? that that could be something where it's 
maybe he's more of an antagonist and like, he's, he's like a like he he's like an emperor palpatine and he has like a he's making a vader i'm well, thinking more like yeah, um and yeah uh lawrence fishborn in the last ant-man kind of in a similar oh way yeah that yeah vein, where he wasn't intending to super villain mm. but ghost well, i do think they need to bring that stuff back up isn't she supposed to appear in something I ghost she was she'll come back Kind well, of unfinished. The, yeah, I mean, they, have, they have time to always bring it back, though. You know the the idea I was having is because uh, Kang, like in the comics, he's he's like a full on Avengers team level threat when he's at his yes, full no, power. Yes. Mm-hmm. So the idea I had is maybe they're introducing Kang at the end of his super villain career, and that's why Ant Man and Wasp will be able to take him down. What but if this, this they're showing the end of him when they first introduce him and they'll actually have him be a bigger threat further down the line? Yeah, that could be. That, that, I mean, that's with time travel, that's yeah. possible. Well, and the other two things are is like of all characters, King is one extremely de- deeply connected to the Fantastic Four. Yep, and, and he, also he, has connections to the X Men, isn't he? Is that not he that um, one, honestly? He he's... trained, or his first protege was Apocalypse when he was Ramatut. Okay, that's mm-hmm. what. That's why in my well, because yeah, like so Ramatut is that where he started? But did he start in ancient Egypt? I wasn't sure in my wait. He, I think so. Wouldn't they okay. be able to use Kang to explain mutants? Like yeah, he would go a, back in time and like fuck yes. with something. If they yeah, could make like a little thing, they could make that. Be, uh, so my, in my head, it was like where when we meet him in Ant Man and the Wa or Ant Man Three or whatever they want to call it, it's very early in his timeline, and and whoever's with him turn him into a villain. They do something that turns him into. And, I was thinking yeah. that, um when they see him. Whatever happens with him, he just like leaves because that's what he does. And then maybe like they probably just like, well, we don't know what the fuck to do with it. And then he occasionally yeah. will reappear somewhere else. You know what I mean? And like they hit, yeah, they can't reach really <laughs> him right away. So it's like, yeah, yeah. Or I could see him being the lead into Doom, honestly. Yeah, because like... he's so tied into Doom because he's a descendant of Reed Richards and uses Doom's time machine technology. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. his like origins. Yeah, you could see this character pulling a lot of like storyline based weight and pulling a lot of. Honestly, uh, I could see like Doctor Doom, like Victor Von Doom, being introduced at one point, and you don't know that he's Doctor Doom or whatever. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, I just had a thought though. What if Mm -hmm. this sets up Kang popping into these movies in a kind of Thanos esque role? Yes, but yeah, what exactly. we find out is that he's trying to prevent the rise of Victor Von Doom. Maybe, yeah, yeah maybe. But maybe we don't training, know that he kidnapped someone's kids and like train them so then they can fight Doom. So he's like, yeah, sure, yeah. finding someone with yeah. potential. Yeah. Like, that was, yeah. yeah, that was one of the rumors for a little while about the new Ant Man movie was that it was going to be Young Avengers, and that's mm. where Kang, like Lou was saying earlier, when he was Iron Lad. He was. It was Young Kang who was mm. who was playing Iron Lad yeah. in the Young Avengers comic. So I could see like some of him like kidnapping kids or something along those yeah. lines. Being Which fuck God is. We already Gotta call have, Chris Hansen. I'm trying to think. We have Casey <laughs> in the movies. Kate was supposed to be in that Hawkeye show, which we don't no, know what's happening. Be. Well, we don't know if that show is happening. It doesn't exist yet, but apparently they're. Uh, honestly, you know. they could probably recast. Hawkeye and nobody would notice. Nobody yeah. would care. Just put him in and a maybe, mask. Right. Maybe not yeah. make him a sad ninja all the time. Maybe make him the fun <laughs> no, guy right. he is exactly. in the comics. Don't do that. Yeah. Give me um, hope. Yeah. And then to tie into what you were saying, like Patriot's part of that team, and we could tie in, like, which is a really cool, fun character that they've used. And strangely, yeah. in the comics, Hulkling has become like a big character in the yeah. last yeah. couple months. Like they pretty much right. built an entire crossover around him. Yeah. Um mm-hmm. And we've already seen Scrolls and Cree, so yeah, and and WandaVision and, and WandaVision the, uh, with Wicked. Yeah, well, and, I wouldn't be well, surprised if he shows Madness. up in WandaVision at some point. I, he might have already done something, and he might be in that show. Yeah. Um, what Kang or Wiccan? Kang. Um, can, can we talk I don't about know. The actor, yes, he might. Uh, yes, he, he easily. Could. I don't even know if he said his name. Did we? Uh, Nothing major. Yeah. I did. I think I said it. When yeah, we, you did. Yeah. He's okay. uh, he's one of my favorite like new actors. Like. Yeah. yeah, he's 
Yeah, he's fantastic. Um, I need to see yeah. that show. <laughs> yes, you do. <laughs> you very much. Oh, yeah. man. oh my god, um, the range. Yeah. He has good range. Yeah. Yes, no, yes. it's and that's the thing. Like he's he's doing a lot of the dramatic lifting in the show, and and like mm-hmm. the actress uh, Smollett, who's playing Letitia, she's she's the one like you were saying before uh is uh, was that she's the one who's doing all like the action hero stuff that you would expect mm-hmm. him to be doing yeah. yeah like they both they both have like versatile roles where like they can both do emotional shit but also still badass stuff but like mm-hmm. yeah. um jonathan majors he can play like a leading man but also a flawed leading man he's not playing like a squeaky clean like you know yep right yep yeah yeah as we're yeah. as we're learning in the episodes yep yeah. it's also good to just see like more kind of like middle age oh my god i guess, well, guess middle age is weird because he's like my age but like yeah like black <laughs> actors getting like is a chance a grown, to be like these big man? roles yeah, yeah it's like not, it's it's not well, i mean like just... not old like yeah, i feel right, like not old like, and not super young right yeah because mm-hmm. like, you like michael b jordan broke kind of super young but like um mm-hmm. like to see these kinds of, i think of him i think of i'm gonna i don't remember his name right now but uh who played black manta and was in um Oh, yeah, Mateen. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, and like, and Mahersh Ali kind of broke an older time. Like, it's good to see these guys like getting these roles. Yeah. Um, yeah. and I'm glad more like Disney's doing it because they've not done a lot of stuff right, and it's good to see them yeah. do this. Like, yeah. um, you know, like it, it makes me like happy. Like as um. as like a way, I know people like I saw people like oh they're gonna paint another like colored person. Yeah, it's like, well, we don't know that they're going to do that, and there's ways they can do it. Like that, and I understand why. Yeah, I understand why that would be his first instinct because partially because it's Andy, and I feel like that's his first instinct every yeah. time. Well, but they did uh, all it's of, a valid complaint because yeah, it's all of Guardian, so like yeah. all the character, all the actors in Guardians, um, mm-hmm. the that's basically really all the in aliens in Captain Marvel. Marvel. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, it's it. I mean, it's a problem that Marvel has that yeah. they're they seem to be hopefully trying to rectify here. But like, I mean, like uh, it, Marvel paints all the ethnic people, and DC gives them two lines. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right? Yep. No, yeah. they just put them under machines, like well, under uh, CGI I'm, garbage. They just kill like, <laughs> like, like, James Wan. Can, can, can I go on a rant uh, real quick? A short, can I go, can I go, yeah. Mm. Can I go a short rant? Really short rant. Yeah, um, no, go so for it. Tell, Tao Okamoto, which is an amazing actress, she's like great in, in the Wolverine. She's really good in that. She's like the yeah. lead uh, actress, like the co, you know. Uh, and then in DC, like in the fucking BVS, she has like two, like no lines, and she just dies. And it's like, what the fuck? You wasted that actress. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah but, I don't even know. remember it in the, but, for in that movie. Long time. Yeah. It's Mercy Graves, and she's just like Lex Luthor's assistant. Oh. He doesn't do anything but walk down the hallway and get blown up. And it's like, what? Yeah. It'd be great well, if Mercy Graves had lines or uh, something to do, you know, a character. I don't think she it's, says anything in the movie. It's not like she's no. a very important character in everything that is Lex Luthor ever. Yeah, why do they get that amazing actress to just do nothing? It's like uh, yeah, almost. And they do weird stuff because in that movie they didn't know what they were doing. Um, yeah. Remember when Marvel laid the hints of? Uh, oh my God, what's the character's name? Because the mom is in Ultron. Uh, oh yeah, uh, Amadeus Cho. Amadeus yeah. Cho. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. That's something I would love to see. Like, yeah, they got to pay that. They off. should they do that. Yeah. yeah. He was yeah. like, he was even like Hulk for a little bit. So like, yeah, he was totally the... awesome Hulk. <laughs> that I love that run so much. Yeah. Uh, that's the uh, that's the era of like what started the whole comic skate shit, isn't it? I think so. Yeah. Mm, was it? Yeah, comic that's when they were doing Hulk. The all new Marvel Com- stuff, right? Why? Uh, why is comic book game le- legitimized anyway? Like, I don't know. I don't know. Fuck it. People are just people stupid have to about it. because money. Because people yeah. have money, and, and yeah. I don't. People are stupid like and how, think their opinions matter. That's it. I don't like how every yes. like every like movement has to have a gate at the end. But Watergate was the name of the fucking hotel. It wasn't like they just. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. People, people are yeah. fucking stupid, dude. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, why did you add gate to every fucking? <laughs> I don't know. It's just the dumbest shit, and it's annoying. Yeah. Um, should we roll on Arlen? Uh, yeah, I was trying to. Um, I'm sorry, I, I, I'll shut oh, up for a little bit. <laughs> here, I'll do a transition. So, speaking of other Asian characters that Marvel has, uh, let's do it. Uh, oh, yeah. Korean even. Yeah. Um, so, uh, there's going to be a Silk series uh, from nice. Sony, which I guess. Um, Is that the, the one that uh, Olivia. Last time. 
Yeah, yeah the, that won't be silk. I feel like I assume that those two things negate each other. I honestly, uh, I I don't know if it's silk or not. <laughs> yeah, because they I mean, said where yeah. this is, is supposed to be. Yeah, uh, they they didn't say anything like that, but it it is Sony Television, and as so, I explained, uh, when the so it's on first crackle. Broke, I mean, <laughs> that's the thing. They do a lot of stuff. I can't wait. I, I can't wait to watch this and Final Fantasy Spirits Within immediately after. <laughs> oh my god! Oh man! Um, is it is it on Quibi? <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, Hunter's Lou, on Quibi. Calm down. I am. The biggest <laughs> thing that they put out recently is they are the they are the producers of The Boys. Um, so nice. It could honestly they're back go in town. Okay. <laughs> I just looked up an yes. article and it says that Amazon is interested in the right the streaming rights. I that would be interesting. Um, that would piss me off because that would say basically without a shadow of a doubt that she's in a separate universe than our MCU Spider Man. Oh, she's is, in the Venomverse. So yeah. By that logic, is Mor- Morbius Venom. in the separate universe? Please say yes. I don't know what you're talking no. about. Is that Morbius? Morbius. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Ooh, this Morbius, is just grandfathered Morbius. in under my general anger towards Sony in most things. So, like, mm. uh, I'm, I'm not too. I, just, so, I don't want to know what executive was like uh, flip, flipping the pages. Uh, Mor- Morbius, you could do that. <laughs> yeah, they're like Jared Leto. Yes, he has a cult. He'll put, they'll all go to his movie. So, <laughs> I honestly like. Okay, like more like the idea for Mor- behind Morbius is not bad. Like, like he's no, like this. I just, it's terrible. I just no, feel like marketing. Jesus Christ, Lou. There's nothing wrong like, with the concept oh, of Morbius. <laughs> no, no. My problem is that like the making a movie of it is kind of weird. With the time yeah, it is. Like this character that nobody knows is a Spider-Man villain. We're gonna make a solo movie. I just, like, I just love we live in a universe, like an actual universe, where we have a shitty Morbius movie and a two-time Oscar award winner gonna play Blade. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's so good. Both these things are true. And hopefully um, they're not connected in any way. Because actually, I would want no, Mahershal no, Ali to beat Jared Leto to death in his Oscars. <laughs> <laughs> actually, I would love it if Blade ends with him shooting Jared Leto in the back of the head. Can it just, <laughs> just cut his head off? Throwing like, 30 that. seconds to um, Mars CD into a fire? <laughs> 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 Well, they gotta have, I, they gotta have uh, Blade say some shit like, "You got, you got fucking thirty seconds of death, man." <laughs> uh, well, that's that's the thing. This, I mean, as much as it's fun to joke about this, this is a very real possibility that Blade could show up in it because I thought part of the contract that Marvel and Sony worked out was that like Sony is allowed to use some of the MCU characters. Yeah, they made a deal with them. Um, Keaton's and Morbius, at least. I certainly remember saying that I would be shocked if that didn't happen. I would yeah. be utterly surprised if that wasn't yeah. part of But I would of think then Marvel would have asked for more creative control. Um, well, it, yeah. they did a one-time thing where, like, they had, um, they allowed X-Men to have, um, Quicksilver. Well, yeah. That was, yeah, that was, yeah, that yeah. was, so well, that's a right thing. Planet. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that was, yeah. that was a weird rights thing because they couldn't uh, precisely pin down if, yeah, if Quicksilver Scarlet Witch and, and Quicksilver Scarlet Witch appeared in Avengers first, but they what were a, mutants. What yeah. a fucking stupid situation oh, they got themselves into. Well, no, you want to hear what's stupider, which is now solved, is before the Fox deal, Fox only had rights to the Super Scroll, but not yeah. Scroll. Why? Why? <laughs> Because Super <laughs> Scroll is a Fantastic Four but, character. But if I was to understand something, 20 plus years ago, Hi. lawyers sat in a room and they wrote on, they, they wrote through like hundreds of pages of notes on how things should be divided. And they argued this for hours. Oh, for and you know why? If I was in that room, I would hang myself. <laughs> all because Marvel put out a shitty. Like that high, Hunter, you're too tall. <laughs> all because Marvel put out a shitty, shitty I have a TV show. Line, man. Where I think I was one of six people who watched it because I was an X Men nerd, and they, tried, oh, they thought they could get away with a TV show called Mutant X, 
even though they didn't oh. own the rights to the X-Men. Lou, I watched that show at Wait, five years ago. What? And, what? Yeah, yeah. That's the name of the show. Yeah, they had some of the Generation X characters yeah. in there, like yeah. Skin. And it, and, it was uh, starring the guy who played the Lex Luthor in Lois and Clark. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, as, man. Not, Shit. as a doctor who headed the team, not a professor. Mm-hmm. Was a I doctor. had no idea this existed. Yeah. I, yeah, that's I the whole reason, reason behind shit. the Fox and Sony deals. Holy shit, they have this TV show. Okay, I'm looking at images right now. They had the jet. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> so who made this? This is Fox, it looks like. Is it? This was Fox, no. and then I think Stan was a producer on the show. I'm not positive about that. Oh my god. It was a- a- Avi Arad. Of course oh, it okay. was. Yeah. Of course it was. I think it was like um, a CBS show. No, you know, it was on for Fox, if I remember you, correctly. You know what I desperately want happen to happen is for them to make that stupid uh, X Men versus Fantastic Four movie, but oh, like God. through Marvel. Oh, my God. <laughs> that would be great. That would be fantastic. I would love oh, if it opened okay. a film and then it just pulled out and they were just like <laughs> blowing up those DV- like those Blu rays. <laughs> <It's all laughs> That's my imagination for like all these things. It's just like it pulls out and it's just there are characters that we like destroying the characters we hate. Right. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Oh, well, maybe CW gave us. <laughs> you can uh, you can watch Mutant X on Vudu or Tubi for free. Oh, oh dude, I love Tubi. Oh, yeah, it's on Amazon Prime TV too. Services. Yeah, uh, it's we're, on- in, uh, we're in crisis of infinite streaming services. <laughs> <laughs> Too fucking many of them. That's just oh called the this show was on for three seasons. Yes, Why? Jesus Christ. Yes, it was. Twenty three. Three twenty two episode seasons. Okay. It says there's sixty six episodes. Why is this feeling not a real thing? Story. I have no knowledge of this. I don't. <laughs> this feels fake. Um. So Phil Lord and Chris Miller are producing the Silk series, which is uh, a shock. Um, yeah, I'm like I like those guys. I feel like this is. They're only producing, but like, if you're gonna do a yeah. Asian character, you need to. Which is weird because it's Sony. You think okay. it makes Lou. sense? <laughs> Lou. Okay. I, I can't believe I have to say. <laughs> They're going to hire another person to be primarily in charge. You say that, but it's Sony. That. It's, yeah. Um, well, they're no. Also, they're already saying. I'm actually reading on this. Lauren Moon. I guess no. Is that just is Amy Pascal in a mustache? Dude, oh, it's God. gotta be. Is Amy Pascal wearing... It doesn't a, count uh, as Asian food if she puts soy sauce on her room. No, but she's wearing, <laughs> she's wearing a pastrami sandwich on her face. Uh, her features look. Um, and that's I feel like that? Amy Pascal's true life nemesis is Condiment King. <laughs> um, I don't know that Amy Pascal is. She's, she's, for, the, she's the yes. She's, she's the a former head of, of Sony. Sony. Now <laughs> yeah. she's at Universal. Yes, yeah, she is. Like the, so she, she went from being in charge of Spider-Man to now having yeah. the rights to Namor and Hulk. Oh man! Well, she still kind of works at Sony. Kind of, I guess. It, yeah, it's she, she's also the the. Uh, the she also threw a sandwich at Kevin Feige. That's all you. Yes, that, yes, yeah. that's where the bit. Comes wow. From. She. Oh wait, I think she, wait, wait, wasn't there an interview where like they're standing next to each other and like she says some kind of dumb shit. Yes. Yeah. Kind of where she was like, "Oh, Venom's in the MCU," and he like looks right. at her like, "Wait, what you say?" <laughs> <laughs> the look on his face is still priceless. But yes, yeah. the the sandwich I've story, which cut. we have turned into a bit where that's just her weapon of choice in any <laughs> situation. I feel like in, she, in our yeah, in our in, in our universe, she's like the queen of fables, but it's just sandwiches. <laughs> yes, and she has a different sandwich depending. She on has the time of instead day. of a storybook, it's a uh, it's a subway menu. <laughs> yes. Yeah. yeah, she's like Rorschach, but she has a subway bag over her head and changes the fucking well, thing. Her, her, <laughs> other her other famous power is narcolepsy because she was known to fall oh asleep God. during meetings. Yes, legitimately yeah. fell asleep. <laughs> During a pitch meeting to two huge writers, I believe, right? That yeah, is so like that. funny to me. Which like, is probably Lord of Miller, but no one said who exactly it is. Yeah. Dude, like yeah. the idea that that actually happened is amazing. Yeah, and there's another there's another story I think we talked about a long time ago where I couldn't confirm it was her. I can't remember the deep insane thing. 
that happened where she like, was just like, I like how. Uh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Yeah, what was that? I said like how yeah, Kevin she... Feige's like really in, like enthusiastic about this shit, and she's just like falling asleep. <laughs> oh well, she, she basically like everyone got fired after the email leaks, and then she took over and fell into profitable movies. Yeah, that's yeah. one way to put it. Um, she like the almost, emoji movie. I think no. it's just that she said the least bad things from those emails. Um, because if you if you look up what she said in those emails, it, some of it's uh, some of it's real just A plus stuff, just uh, real yeah. great racism on display. <laughs> oh, nice! Oh, wow. oh wait, mm-hmm. towards what people? Oh God! God. Uh oh! <laughs> you name I guess... it. Uh, no, I am actually curious. I am going to be googling this right now. Okay, I, I'm. I don't want to say something that's not true, but I believe that she's one of the people who agreed. That people of color don't sell in Eastern Europe. I, I, I want to say that that's uh, a thing that she typed or that she agreed with in one of the emails. Um, I, see, she, like, I don't know if I would characterize that as a racist. Uh, I, well, and, that's, <laughs> and that's that's not true at all because I mean a, a, a non-white baby in Eastern Europe can go for a lot of money. If you Jesus Christ, buyers, Eric. So. <laughs> Jesus yeah. Christ! Yeah, well, uh, yeah. it's Eastern Europe, um, man. You know they they take a drug called crocodile or crocodile. So, crocodile. Yeah. True. Yeah. Mm. Oh no, there's worse ones. Oh, yeah, can I quote I, one right now? I remember? Can I quote uh, one? I found one. Sure. Yes, it is. Yes. So before a fundraising <laughs> breakfast uh, being attended by the president. At, like the actual president oh, at the home of oh, DreamWorks no. CEO oh, Jeffrey no. Katzenberg, she asked him, "Should I ask him if he likes Django?" Oh, <laughs> no. obviously she's talking about meeting Obama. Mm. Mm. Uh, oh wait, why? apparently it's it's not over. Um, well, well, well and remember, uh, this is this oh, is a woman uh, who uh, made money off of Into the Enter the Spider Verse. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, apparently, like the next, Ruben responded with 12 years. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Excuse me? <sighs> what? Excuse me? Wait, he just I... drove back 12 years? That's. What the... <sighs> oh, no, but then he said, I bet he likes Kevin Hart. Uh. <laughs> why? Why are these people allowed to have email? I think. Why are these. <laughs> Isn't yeah, the why are these people allowed to have jobs? She, like, of, like I, she failed. Upwards of the Sony into a more powerful job now at Universal, and now she gets right. to make movies with the greatest of all people's uh, uh, IP. Yeah, exactly. at Universal now. What minion movies? Um, no, no. <laughs> oh, I'm talking she, about the Wizard holy the shit! World. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh no! God, that's right. You know, what I just realized you know, she what? is she is directly connected to Nintendo now. Yes, Fuck. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, she went from yeah. one Japanese company to a different one that doesn't understand the West. Well, uh, I can get into it, but we're not going to right now. <laughs> no. Uh, Fuck Jake, you're rolling, though. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She can eat shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know what she I said? Does. Early in the week, I said, I don't want to wish harm upon people but um as connor said in a post earlier this week i won't be i won't be sad if she gets run over by a bus uh i believe that was what he said so yeah sure, oh, why not i hope it's a cranky yeah. british bus <laughs> she's, she's, just another, she's just another person who's created an ip that is better than that person will ever be and hopefully they don't become so bad that they ruin it mm-hmm. can i can i just say uh my opinion of it is like I never really liked Harry Potter, like I never got into it, but like oh, it's fine people it's fine people love it, but um my my point of view is that like there's so many things that just we have no choice but to like participate in that like racist people have you know what I mean? It's, yeah. it's, oh, did it's, you not like did you not get into Harry Potter because you couldn't find yourself in that movie? Because no, that was fun, 'cause I'm fucking thirty three now. I don't know. I, don't know. No, I meant because like <laughs> because like me, you're a person of color and they don't exist in the wizarding world. Yeah. Or obviously. when they do, they so get changed like, over to white oh. people when they have a bigger yes. role. Sorry. Oh. Can, I just, can, I just say, can I just say that like one time in school, um one of my te- teachers had to like read the book to us because like uh you know, a lot of us are like, Yeah, we never you heard of it, we never read it. So the, the teachers are like, Oh, the teacher really liked it. 
So she's like reading the books to us, and like a lot of us are just bored. Like, hey, what the mm. fuck is going on? I don't even know what the fuck. Like, I can't even follow this shit. <laughs> Like, yeah, it's it. well. I mean, the the whitest of white people, a British person, wrote it, so that's kind of understandable yeah. why like, anybody like, with some terrible worldviews. Yeah, I don't, I don't mind that. Like, yeah, this dude, I love it. Fine, that's you can love that. But it's, it's just, just also like what's what's so weird about it is like she started with like the most sympathetic story of all time, like divorced and left destitute by her ex husband, like living like she was basically homeless now it's like maybe, maybe he didn't like she was trying to go bank <laughs> yeah. She, yeah, she wrote a book where there are uh, goblins that control the banking system so yeah yeah so, Ooh. Mm. Oh, did, mm. yeah. did uh, wait, let me just talk amongst yourself but there's a picture of uh a particular scene of at the hogwarts bank whatever it's called Gringotts. Um, mm-hmm. There's uh, essentially a star of David on the floor at uh, Gringotts. Oh, wow! Yes. Mm. You say yeah. is it a star of David or is it yes. uh, the the star of the Satanic Church or is there a uh, No, I, I um... <laughs> well, global elitists. The the Clinton News Sorry, Network lied to me about Gringotts. Okay, yep. let's move on. Uh, <laughs> I was walking around DC too much, and maybe those megaphones like got into my brain. Yeah, I, I'm so tired of the liberal media brainwashing you about the goblins who run the bank system. <laughs> uh, I, there's no, there's no good transition. To this. Uh, yeah, here's a transition for you. I'd buy that for a dollar. Yeah, I work yeah. for Dick Jones TV show. Yeah, like, um, so the, the character of Dick Jones from RoboCop. Uh, he, I guess he's gonna get his own show. Uh, um, I wish it was Clarence Boddicker. Yeah, yeah, totally. I would actually watch that show 100%. B- bitches leave. Uh, bitches wait. leave. <laughs> so they're making a TV show about the bad guy? Yes. Like Cobra yeah. Kai. And they're, they're Fuck comp- that show. No, apparently it's good. Don't you, don't you know? People uh, tell yeah, me it's good. Yeah, Eric, it's, it's yeah. a good show, apparently. Everyone has uh, that show that I stopped watching after three oh episodes. Oh my god, Eric, you're right. Um... <laughs> That's Man. set designers. That's not even her. It doesn't matter. They were running with the theme. Okay. She okay. The shoe right okay. on the floor is a star of David. Guys, yeah. guys, hear me out. You do, you do a Clarence Boddicker show, right? But it's like Old Man Logan, right? <laughs> it's like it's in the future. He's like dying. We're not even gonna say it. He's like, all the bitches left. (laughs) (laughs) No, don't even address the end of the movie. He's still alive. I'm I'm only into this if they bring back, um, what the fuck is that dude's name? The guy who played Boddicker. Because he's uh, Red. Kerwood Smith. Kerwood Smith. Yeah, Kerwood Smith. If they bring him, I just want him to call everybody a dumbass. He somehow survived. I don't remember how he dies in Robocop, but if he He Uh, it's pretty ghastly. It's so pretty how ghastly. Uh, how did he die in that 70s show? Um, <laughs> uh, old age. I was going to say age. Heart attack. I was going to say it turned into the 80s. Remember when they did that 80s show? No, oh, I don't want to talk about it. We don't talk about that show here. We don't talk about it. Okay, but so anyway. Nobody, nobody talks about that show anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> um, so their pitch for the Dick Jones show is they're comparing it to Better Call Saul. Um, no. I don't know if that's from oh, the people no. making the show or if that's just what this writer is saying. But he's bad. Um, like it? No, just no. Yeah, yeah. this is mm, bad. I, I once again, like, don't get me wrong. I I like the original RoboCop, but mm-hmm. who's clamoring for this? I yeah, right. no. see. Well, and sp- specifically about him, like he's. I could actually see. Like an anthology show about OCP, that would be. I, you know, I think you could do a show that's almost oh, an homage to this, but just not mm-hmm. make it about Dick Jones, and it would probably be pretty good. All right, right. Before we go too far, can I just say I looked up that eighty show. It somehow has people who have a really good career right now. Yeah. Oh. Um, Glenn Howerton was the star from Always Sunny. Okay, Lou, we don't, we don't. Okay, no, uh, let's no. We're talking about <laughs> Robocop right now. I do not want to soy that no, with that eighty show. We're talking about Dick Jones, not Robocop. yeah. No, no. Okay, it's it's Robocop. Yeah, I don't understand. You who you need to show respect. 
So in 2020, <laughs> we want to make a show about the white rich man who built who built yes. machine cops to right. kill people. That that's a great idea. We should do that. Yeah, just a just a perfect idea. Just which is perfect. why Clarence Boddicker shot cops. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> I'm just saying this is, this is factually accurate, and that's the Wait, most important type of accurate. Maybe Clarence Boddicker is rumor. Maybe that's why he's always wearing the mask. <gasps> <laughs> I like this. <laughs> um, my question is that uh. What are the like? I hate RoboCop. Who's like wants any of that? Like, keep RoboCop what it is. You don't need to make any more RoboCop things. Like, no, you don't. You don't. Like, no, you don't need yeah. it. No, yeah. it, they and, tried. They did. They the no. <laughs> yeah, Lord, yeah. they try. Yeah, uh, and they didn't get yeah. like what it was. It's a satire. Like, RoboCop yeah. is like a perfect movie, almost. Like in in that yeah. in that it's you don't need to make any more. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, exactly. And they made like, you know, they made so many more. Yeah, I but love RoboCop too. But even I'm like, if that movie didn't exist, I think we'd be in a better universe. I yep. Think is, well, it, and is it RoboCop or is it two or three where the the little kid is the bad guy? Two. Uh, two. <laughs> two. Yeah, yeah and then two. Kane becomes RoboCop two, and uh, and also RoboCop two was written by Frank Miller, as was mm-hmm. part three. Oh, and, not and I think oh, part three sense. was directed by him, if I remember correctly. So wait, he, no, Frank it's not directed. And- Peter, so Frank Miller directed a movie where Peter Weller was the voice, and then Peter Weller eventually did the voice of Batman in a Frank Miller Batman story. I I don't think Frank Miller directed it, but I think he maybe the second one was based on his script, and then the third one he actually did write. Yeah, he does. No, there's no way he directed it because he would have yeah. already been in the union for yeah Sin for Sin City. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But regardless, yeah, second one was based on Frank Miller's script, and yeah, third yeah. one what, was what, a Frank what's Miller. What's up with Frank Miller? What happened in his childhood? Like what happened? Uh, um, 9-11, 9-11 happened. That's yeah. what happened. No, it's, what happened was he had a teacher who was really German and who would beat uh, him, and it got him really hard. It's, <laughs> no, it's Hunter's exactly right. It's it's nine eleven happened, and it's just like with a uh, shit. What's yeah. his face? He used to be on Saturday Night Live. Um, fuck, Dennis, he, Miller. Dennis Miller. Dennis Miller. Yeah, Dennis Miller. Yeah. Like after so 9/11, you say Saturday Night Live, and I think of Monday Night Football because that also uh, happened. Hmm. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. Nine oh yeah. eleven was definitely a tragedy, and it's very you know tragic and sorry. Yeah, but it's also like. We did fucking Nagasaki and Hiroshima, like <laughs> exactly, and what? and everything that happened in nine eleven was kind of because we yeah. were funding people. Yeah, like, so yeah, I we it funded up. the fucking well. Here, yeah. okay. Miller has, like we create our own villains. Uh, here's Miller the thing: has story credit and screenplay credit. Yeah, but kind. also nine eleven was a was a government psyop to right. yeah, yeah, yeah. to create well, but allow allow the lizard people to enter our country. Right. Yeah, yeah, so that the goblins I who ran Frank system in Hogwarts <laughs> could come over. Can I raise one thing? Uh, um, <laughs> Frank Miller's this, Frank Miller's like infatuation with like Nazi women happened way before nine eleven. Yeah, no, he, did. he 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 really, really wanted to fuck a Nazi. That's... Lou, I think you're correct, but I, I think it was more about the aesthetics at that point. Um, but well, he was. It was, also, yeah. it was <laughs> I think also... the first thing that he got hard to was like Ilsa Werewolf. Like, what was it? Yeah, was it? Werewolf, yeah. Uh, yeah, of the SS. Werewolf of the yeah. 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 Werewolf woman well, of the SS. Or she wolf. She wolf. Yeah. She wolf. Mm-hmm. It's. It's also like when uh, when Dark Knight Returns first came out, like that was what eighty mm. five something like that, and it mind you, it was the late seventies, early eighties. But like the punk rock movement was using the swastika a lot, not stupidly, yeah. but they were still using yeah. it. So it it had that whole like yeah counterculture image to it, which I don't understand how that happened. But you know, it's mm. people it also happens. like Sid Vicious because. He was a bad bassist right. and he murdered his girlfriend. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I don't know. I I feel like that's some of it. I'm not saying it excuses it, but I feel like that's some of why Frank Miller was so obsessed with Nazi imagery because it was shocking and it got the point across really quickly and easily mm-hmm. for him. I mean, so, sort of to go back a little bit to the sort of 9/11 part of it. So what happened with Dennis Miller is I I don't know what his politics before 9/11 were, but to the public, it seemed like he was doing a full-on reversal. Um, 
my understanding is that Frank Miller probably would have been very anti fash in the eighties. You know, you know, it's funny anti authoritarian. Depending on how you want to read the Dark Knight Returns, what? and whether or not you think that that's a criticism of Batman, or whether or not you think that he's writing Batman as he should be, um, which is something I've heard actual people say out loud. Um, oh, yeah, I, so I I'm on crazy. I feel I'm like those are people with Punisher tattoos. They are. Uh, I, I am. <laughs> yes. I have to share with you this hilarious thing that I just read. Uh, I'm on his oh, Wikipedia no. page. Oh boy. And- and it says, in response to the claims that his comics are conservative, Miller said, I am not a conservative. I'm a libertarian. Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, explains it all. Well, that, that, that explains, explains everything. everything. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Step on me, daddy. So you call, you, you call you that on, stuff that on purpose? Uh, <laughs> now to address the story of David in uh, Chamber of Secrets. Um, yes. No, no, it's a, no, it's a real thing. Yeah. Uh, anyways, <laughs> this RoboCop series, bad idea. Don't touch yeah. RoboCop. Yeah. Um, if, if they were do- again, if they were doing like a satire about OCP, I could maybe you mean, like, see that working. How Robo, the original RoboCop, is a satire. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Like if they made something that felt in, you know, in tune with the original um, movie, that could maybe work. But it feels like they're. Not even gonna do that. Yeah. Well, that's like Verhoeven it. stuff is like All Robocop satire. is him ripping on American culture, yeah. right? Yeah, uh, just like just like been... Starship Troopers is actually about Nazis. Yeah. Well, the, bo- the <laughs> book is like pro-fascism, Propaganda. and then he yep. puts it on its ne- like he turns it yeah, on right. its head. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, just look at Doogie yeah. Howser at the end of the movie. He is dressed like a member of the SS. Yeah. Yeah. But propaganda was like, yeah. Talk about that. What were you saying, Issa? It's about propaganda, also. Like it's very like, somehow, yeah. like yeah, yeah. Which she does all that stuff in RoboCop. It's in the commercials. It's like the com- yeah. like the capitalist propaganda. Yep. Yeah, RoboCop is his t- like his satire on capitalism, while Starship Troopers is his satire on fascism. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yes, yeah. I think just militarism in general. Yeah, the, well, they yeah. kind of go like hand in hand. Hand in hand. Yes, but yeah. I, I think at the time he was maybe focusing on one more because of things that America specifically. Oh, was doing oh, for at sure. The time, uh, which is yeah. the, the sad and thing is like people are like, oh, it's so awesome because like the shooting and the guns is like no, he's yeah, making missing the fun of all of that. I think yeah. that's just because and hey, hear me hey, out. You, people you think... in the '90s were good. No, um, well, oh no, I'm talking about people now still. Let's yeah. not, yeah. Let's not say people. <laughs> pe- only people in their nines are dumb. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm just saying people something. In general, I'm just trying to say something that can't be disputed. Um, Americans are like, fucking stupid. You yeah. you look at like his like his um, IMDb. And it's like oh, he made like several movies just like ripping on the idea of like evil capitalism. Like RoboCop and Total Recall are yeah. like just ripping on evil capitalism. Well, mm-hmm. every movie he's ever done has something has like a a very heavy point to it um i can't remember the name of the movie he did very recently uh um, l l l if you, if none of you have seen l l has some things to say um that's a movie that opens with a woman uh getting violently raped um oh, and it no. just goes oh. it just goes from there um, so yeah, that that's a oh, and she's the head of the that I saw in a She's the head of the su- successful video game company. Yes, she oh, is the wait, what? woman executive at the head of a, a video game a video uh, game company. Um, and she is the daughter of a serial killer. Nice. Um, okay. Yes, and so after okay, we'll just talk about this. After the rape, she real she starts to come to the conclusion that she enjoyed it. Um, well, no, she, no. She it's based on wanting the guy to come back, um, oh, no. and uh, he does. Uh, and uh, it's a movie that people should um, definitely see. It was or, in uh, Cannes in 2016, not. and it won the yeah. Golden Globe Award for Best Foreign Language Film. She nice. was nominated for Best Actress. Oh. Um, <laughs> that's the reason that I saw the film. Uh, it was nominated yeah. for Best Foreign Language Film. Nice. Yeah. 
Great. Oh no, it was entered as a French the French version. It did not get nominated. Uh, it's a film. Anyways, uh, uh Isa, you uh you gave us a story that you wanted to talk about. So let's do that did one. I? Uh yeah. Oh shit, yeah, 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 yeah. Alright. <clears throat> Let me uh pull up the IMDB so I have all the fucking this is a lot of shitload of people the in the exceptional amount of actors in this movie. Yeah, I yeah can, so there, I can, there's a movie called uh the Harder They Fall, which is the Western, with like a mostly black cast, but like it sounds like a fucking. There's yeah. no trailer or nothing yet, but it just sounds based on the actors. Mm-hmm. Like, it's gonna be fucking amazing. Hold on, yeah. I'm, I, got, I don't. Oh, I, I have the IMDb. It's too many to. I'll read it. Uh, Idris okay. Elba, yeah. the already mentioned Jonathan Majors, Zazie Beetz, Regina King, Lakeith Stanfield, Delroy Lindo. Um, that's where I start recognizing names. Lakeith um, Stanfield. Oh, yeah, all amazing. Yeah, yeah I think big names that are um, like huge now, like R.J. Yeah. Siler, Eddie Gafegi, um, uh, who is the uh, the the worst X Men death in all of those films. Oh, yeah. oh God, fucking wait, uh, he's Darwin. 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 He played Darwin. Yeah, R.J. Oh, Siler played Darwin. No, R.J. No, Siler's I, the I, Black I, Ranger. Eddie right? Gafegi is what I said. Um, oh, oh, that guy. Yeah. He's in the Twilight movies, isn't he? Yes, he's. <laughs> he's. I think he's the black guy in the Man, Twilight movie. The he Twilight, comes, the Twilight guys are having a career. I'm well, trying to remember what sh- what thing I saw him in, but I. I X Men First Class. No, it was before that. Well, what is? Stuff. What is the uh, plot of this movie? Because I didn't, I didn't really see a whole lot. It's a, um, it's a Western movie where basically, I think Jonathan Majors plays a uh, a young man who's like, I think maybe he's a former outlaw or something like that. And um, it's just almost like a guy who killed his father yeah, a long yeah. ago, and he gets, he finds out the guy's like around somewhere, and he goes, yeah, he rounds up his like old friends to kind of like go. Oh, it's, it's, so, so, it's, so it's like it's a revenge movie. Yeah, uh, it's it's as it a Western. Looks very, um, oh. Okay. So it's like a time in the West, kind of. Oh my god! I just you just made me remember a movie I forgot existed, and I'm probably the only person that ever watched this. Uh, the Simbad Western movie. What? Uh, what? 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 There is a move a Western starring Simbad with basically every black actor of the era in it. <laughs> I, I, it sounds I, vaguely familiar. I am desperately go- googling Simbad cowboy movie. <laughs> Uh, it's called the Cherokee know, uh, Kid. It's the Cherokee, Cherokee kid. kid. That's right. I, He's half, 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 half. I don't know if we. I don't know if it was said already, but Regina King is directing this movie. Ooh, oh, shit. I did not know that. Yeah. Yeah. No, she is isn't. No, it's somebody is else directing not? it. No, it's oh, somebody okay. else. It's a. It's a first time director. It's a guy who worked with uh, okay. Jay Z on the music for uh, the Great I thought, Gatsby. Uh, I'm oh, confused. What? Oh wait, because she does have a movie coming out soon. That's why I was. Yeah. No. No. Um. This is this is this guy's first movie ever. Uh, right. just, okay. let me see um, it's and he's actually a musician so I'm interesting I'm curious... while Eric's looking that up here's who's in the Sinbad movie it's Sinbad James Coburn Gregory Hines Ernie Hudson Ernie uh, Hudson Burt Reynolds okay uh, <laughs> uh, oh James uh, wait, I'm trying to think James There's Coburn like, yeah, James Coburn. There's like every like eighty, like seventy and eighties and early nineties black actor comedian you can think of as in this movie. I, I am yeah. like my brain is like four oh fouring trying to imagine scenario when Ernie Hudson has to talk to Sinbad. <laughs> uh, Ernie Hudson trains Sinbad to shoot pistols. What? Wait, <laughs> that is the real story. life. In real in life, Bert, in the story, oh, Burt Reynolds trains him to use a rifle because Burt Reynolds plays Otter Bob, and he's like. Man. He's like, you know how hard it is to shoot a uh, like. He's like, oh, because like, oh, you like Buffalo Bill. He's like, you know how easy it is to kill a buffalo. He's like, look, he puts his shit gun over his shoulder and fires. He's like, there was a buffalo there. I'd kill it because it's like so big. But obviously, <laughs> they're hard to shoot. <laughs> like, to shoot so the uh, the director of uh, Where They Fall is uh, James Samuel, but apparently his his musician name is Bullet. B u l l i t t s. Um. Yeah, he uh, he actually directed something else in 2013. Uh, they Die by Dawn, which was at South by Southwest, and it was another Western based on real-life mm. characters and takes place in the town of Langston, Oklahoma in 1890. So mm. it's technically his second thing, but this is going to be, I think, his first really big 
big thing. And I'm just yeah. I'm curious to see what's going to happen with this because oh, wait a minute. I just looked up the cast of They Die by Dawn. Holy it's got shit. Yeah, it's Rizzuto, ridiculous. Michael K. Holy Williams, Rosario fuck. Dawson, Kelly Yu, yeah. Jesse Williams, Bikin Woodbine, Isaiah Washington. It's got like so many fucking amazing I gotta watch that now. John Carl yeah. Esposito is in this fucking movie. Wow. Oh Jesus. They yeah. Die by Dawn. I gotta watch we gotta watch that, Hunter. We gotta watch that. Oh, <laughs> Dude, I'll watch it. I'm, I'm super it's curious. Like an hour. Oh, yeah, that sounds fucking great. Yeah, this oh, cast is bonkers Whoa. yeah well, i mean it that kind of makes me wonder if that's why he was able to get the amazing cast he did for this movie exactly because, yeah they probably yeah. all talking to like oh, this guy's good work with him yeah, yeah. Uh, basically yeah. anything with john carl like with john carlo esposito i will watch yeah. oh, far yeah. cry five yeah sure yeah um, oh so i was looking at a review that says they died by dawn is only available on title which is annoying <laughs> wait oh <laughs> what whoa Excuse you me. You watch it on title, uh, apparently. apparently. Title? title? Yeah, I don't want to. Is title Quibi that. before Quibi? It's like uh, Jay-Z's fucking. Uh, no, I, 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 I know what title is. Like, uh, they have, like, oh, they do have like short films. I didn't realize that they have like a fifty-one minute short film though. That's that's <laughs> okay then. Uh, I hate when there's like things that are only on one platform. Yeah, well, that's what the yeah. internet is for. But it just and not on a platform that would make sense. <laughs> would I uh, give a shit about in any way? Yeah. Yeah. Just a just a side note. I don't know if anybody else will know who I'm talking about, but James Samuel looks a little bit like Saul Williams. Yeah, he does. Know. He does. Yeah, like not a lot, but just this one photo on his IMDb, he looks kind of like Saul Williams, circa like Slam or like his first like solo album. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Yeah, I just just a weird passing thing I noticed. But yeah, I'd, I'm I'm excited for this because. Yeah. The cast looks amazing, and I kind of hope Idris Elba brings the same feel to a Western that uh, Denzel Washington did to uh, the... Magnificent uh, Seven? Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I honestly think it'd be better, because I feel like Idris... Even if he's doing a bad movie, he, like, mm -hmm. delivers. There's, like... Denzel yeah. does some bad movies where he's, like, not giving a fuck. Yeah. I might have to... Yeah. Yeah. Like, um, I just, don't agree. Denzel... Denzel was good in um, uh, Magnificent Seven. He was in that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. That's a good movie. Yeah, yeah. movie's yeah. great. Movie. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. He's fantastic in that movie. He, I, the last time I can think of a movie that I watched where he just like phoned it in was Two Guns with Mark Wahlberg, and like, oh yeah, you yeah. have that's to a, be a on set movie, every day yeah. with Mark Wahlberg. So like, yeah. I get it. I, I understand. Yeah, I guess like I don't really. I'm not like a big fan of American Gangster. I, it's a good movie though. You're, you're good, wrong. It's, long, it's okay. long, but it's, it's yeah. long. I just think like it kind of drags a little bit. It drags, and I like I don't. I feel like it's a, not a honest portrayal. Like I feel like it kind of mm. plays up the coolness too much. Well, yeah, most yeah, most yeah. movies about yeah. real people do that. Yeah, yeah. and like. Book of Eli's true crime really movies goofy. aren't very accurate, Lou. Um, uh, I will say. Can I just say one thing about Idris Elba though? Um. I definitely agree that even if he's in a shitty movie, he's still bringing it. Like, um, the yeah. Ghost Rider 2 was dog shit, but he, he was the most interesting yeah. character. And I was like, why yeah. is this movie not about him? He was badass. Oh, God. I forgot he was in that. Oh, God. Yeah. It he's fucking, been he's like the best really part. The whole movie. It should have been, been, actually. Yeah. Uh, they should have kept the Nicolas Cage pissing scene, though. That's <laughs> yeah. 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 Out of the version I saw was in there. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, I think I, yeah, I think I saw bootleg where they had that in there. Um, yeah, for okay. Oh, go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> no, you, you go ahead. I was gonna try and transition. No, I thought Izzy was gonna say something, but go um, ahead. well, I'm interested in just just to see like Jonathan Majors doing a western because he hasn't done that yet, and like all these act actors haven't done westerns, I don't think. Yeah. And, and you know? yeah, it yeah. it's it's just it's it's time for you know it people to start accepting the fact that. Hey, there's a lot of really talented uh, black actors and directors yeah. out there that you need. Also, to the Wild West yeah. was very black in real life. Yes, it was. <laughs> well, yeah, but, I mean, yeah. I mean, it was uh, the fact that I had to explain who Saul Bass was when we talked about Watchmen yeah. however long ago. Um, yeah, Bass Reeves. Well, yeah, or Bass Reeves. Well, the fact that uh, you're like, did Watchmen I say Saul Bass? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's, you know, that's a new character. Yeah, Watchmen yeah, comes out, and then they actually prove that that thing happened. That what happened in the first episode was historically accurate. Like, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, later. Like, like yeah. I learned about that like as in my twenties, but like a lot. 
lot of people still didn't know about it. Like I didn't know I didn't know that as a kid, which is surprising because like we should be taught that. Yeah, we should. Yeah. It, <laughs> and yeah. I will say, as somebody who's teaching, like of like somehow I've been doing a lot of like the anti-racist history lessons. Yeah. Um, and it's been actually like really good. It's one of the good positives of COVID that like is kind of letting me teach whatever I want. Yeah. Um, That's awesome. But like, uh, oh, fuck, I had a point about Western, so I wanted to completely lost it. There's not uh, enough tall people? <laughs> no, no, no. It, it's about, like, John Wayne, like, I think oh. he is the a yeah. lot of the reason why, like, these, like, movies like, um, like, How They Fall, like, takes so long to be made. Uh, been made, yeah, because he, yeah, he kind of like made it seem like mainstream, like oh, it's this badass white stoic white. Yeah, it's, and, uh, it's like yeah. oh, white people came um, in the west. I don't know if I'd agree with you because those are so. You had so many other westerns come out way yeah. past Wayne. Yeah, like, all the yeah. Clint Eastwood stuff. There's a lot more like the all the spaghetti westerns, and they're yeah, not I, actually Mexicans. They're, like they're a lot. Of I Italians. just yeah, Italians. personally, yeah. personally, I think yeah. like John Wayne kind of fucked up a lot of shit for America. I think it has to do more with a lot of like the concepts like when we just went over when we talked about the emails of like the people running Hollywood. Yeah. I think I agree with that. I think John Wayne had a lot of pull with the studios. He was one of those actors at the time who could get things done just on his own without having to worry about contracts. Yeah, um, because that's how big of an actor he was. He had a um, lot of power at the time. He also maybe died what, what was... like fifty years ago. But I think one hundred was getting yeah, out was like seventy five. Like, yeah. The idea of John Wayne, which he was just a fucking actor, but like people, a lot of like mm-hmm. people attributed this manliness to him. They're like, oh, that's what you should be. Yeah. A man should be. But it's like he's wasn't a good example of him. <laughs> no, he's, no, he's kind of a huge piece of shit. Also, yeah, kind he, of. Di- he died. Oh, he was also a bitch. He didn't even go to war. That was like yeah. people used to make fun of him. Yeah. He also died with like a pound of red meat still in his stomach, so he couldn't even go. <laughs> yeah. So think about that about next time you're watching movie. a John Wayne movie. Like, yeah, we don't if you're going to watch one, one uh, watch when yeah. he tapes his uh, like his eyes to play Genghis Khan. Uh, uh, I'm Genghis Khan. Don't Khan. watch any of this. How's it going, Pillow Girl? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, if you're going to watch any True Grit, watch the newer True Grit. Yes. Watch the newer yeah. True Grit. If yes. you have to watch The Searchers, watch The Searchers because it is good. Um, just be forewarned warned about some of the things that go on in that movie. Mm-hmm. Um, but like, again, like, I, like, and I completely agree with you guys. And like, and Isla's like, I would love like more historically accurate westerns. It's just yeah, like, right. and it's weird like doing the 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 movie one. Like when we watched Mass of Zora, which is like very kind of western. It's like there's so much like racial stuff in that movie that I forgot that they mm-hmm. full out address. And I'm like, I don't even know if they do that now. And that's yeah, a movie that's over 20 years old, and it's like very much about like the native Mexicans. There's a lot of stuff like, we yeah. There's a lot of stuff we maybe shouldn't go get into, but like people started writing the story of the West while the West was still being settled, and the people yep. doing that writing, most of them were white. Yeah, because uh, well, they, they, they were the li- ones that could read and write, and they lived in the yeah. cities. They didn't live mm-hmm. actually in the West. They were just also, visiting. Also, like if you're a black or native Mexican, you weren't like nobody cared about your story. You yeah. know what I mean? They didn't listen. Yeah. To you, so it's like. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, which is why, like, I highly suggest that like Django Zorro book, and there were talks before COVID that that was something Jamie Fox and Antonio Banderas and Quentin Tarantino oh. were working on. Yeah, oh, Quentin Tarantino oh, yeah. says a lot of things, so yeah, <laughs> I know. I'm waiting for a Star <laughs> Trek. I'm waiting for all the shit. But like reading that book and what they do with it, and he wrote the first issue, and then mm-hmm. wrote like a basically the whole story is based on like kind of his skeleton he made. I'm like. Oh, this is a great concept for a movie. Yeah. Of like an old Zorro meeting a middle aged Django. Oh and, fuck you. Yeah. And Antonio Banderas was way open to it. And so is mm-hmm. Shane Fox. So oh, before we before we move on to X's real quick, I just want to say I I will also watch anything that uh Lakeith Stanfield is in. Because yes. dude is so you? good. Oh. Does he have a yeah. big movie coming out soon? Um okay, so he's also in a... Uh... The uh, Judas Sorry, and the Black Messiah, which I don't know if you guys That's what I, no. Yes, that was what I was thinking of. I listened to a podcast with the directors. Oh, yeah, oh, that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, 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 yep. 
Yeah, I was actually kind of surprised to see him. Like, mm-hmm. Yeah, well, yeah. Like, um, oh, no, he pulled a gun. He was asleep. He was asleep yeah. in a yeah, I know he was asleep. And, he, and <laughs> there were, like, three shots fired by by he and, like, his, what was it, his bodyguard. And then there were, like, something like 90 to 100 rounds fired by the police. Yeah. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's great. It's great. Uh, America's I'm, wonderful. Actually, I'm racist. so happy you brought that movie up. Because, yeah, that's something I am... Very excited um, to watch. So, uh, what's his name? Daniel Kaluuya is playing Fred Hampton, and uh, like he Stansfield is playing the guy. I think he like he's playing William O'Neill. He's the Judas. Yeah. yeah, yeah, he's the Judas. He got caught like a petty crime, and then like the fucking feds yeah. use him to kind of like. And it's got old. other big like uh, I'm looking here. Martin Sheen's playing Jake Hoover. Oh, oh it's yeah. got a uh, it's got Aldi brand Matt Damon and uh, Jesse Plemons. Yeah, he's great. <laughs> yeah, he is. He's fucking amazing. He is. Matt, he Matt is, Damon. But... Does he have the accent? That's, that's, right <laughs> that's Damon, aka like Fat Damon, or whatever you want to call him. <laughs> yeah. uh, I've been Fat Damon. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, yeah. That's I mean that that it, part of the fall sounds like it's it looks amazing just based on cast. Uh-huh. So mm-hmm. yeah, I, I can't wait for the trailer. Like the yeah. trailer's mm-hmm. gonna be just fucking like uh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, Zazie I can't Beats, wait for the soundtrack her. too. Like, yes, Zazie Beats is great. Well, Devil Devil Lindo and Five Bloods. If you haven't seen Five Bloods. It's, yeah, do it. Some violence in it if you're squeamish, but Deborah Lindo's <laughs> fucking performance is like amazing in that movie. Like, yeah, yeah, it's believable it's... as a black veteran who's a Trump supporter and he's a very like got a lot of PTSD. It's like very believable. Yep. <laughs> well, yeah, and wasn't a uh, shit? Wasn't um, what's his name? What's his name? Um, wasn't Jonathan Majors in Defy Bloods as well? Yeah, it's exactly. He played his son. He played Deborah Lindo's son in that. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, if yeah. I don't know if they're playing father or son again in this, but. Lakeith Stanfield is in Knives Out. Yes. Yeah, he was the other other detective. Yes. He's the not moron cop. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Also, he's in Atlanta as like the wacky kind of like funny character. Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah. 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 The one that. uh... (laughs) The one that. Get out. Yeah. Yeah, he wasn't Get Out. I forgot about that. There's only like. It's sad to say it's like, oh, there's like. There's only allowed to be like. Seven black male actors in Hollywood. Yeah, right. <laughs> yep. Mm-hmm. Oh well. So that's why he's right. in. That's why he's in everything. I was looking at the guys like, oh, I wonder if he's in uh, with the new Hulu show. Uh, fuck, I can't remember right now. But they, it's like an SNL guy did. I think. Uh, Woke. Oh. Uh, I'm not sure if he's in that, but I know what's his name. The main guy. He's like a comedian. Uh, I forgot his name. Just like a, oh, he was in Bloodshot. Also, he was that. Was uh, he? Yes, he's yeah, the he's nerd. The, he's the nerd guy yeah. in Bloodshot. It's his show. Oh. Mm-hmm. I was, I was gonna say, um, with you saying there can only be seven black actors, it's kind of tying back to J.K. Rowling's belief that there's seven Jewish <laughs> masters of the world, and oh, they're no. writing every. Yeah, yeah, they're all, right. all goblins apparently. Yeah. More like, <laughs> oh, right. like J.K. Stupid. <laughs> Got him. Uh, Got him. Much happier than that. Um, <laughs> All right. Like BS, um, Rowling. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'll, I'll, um, this is sick, Hell Rowling. Um, God damn it. God damn it. Okay. Well, like, um, well, like J.K. Goebbels. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Take control, Arlen. Yes, I'm trying. So, other shows I'm on sorry. streaming services. Yes, other <laughs> things produced by Warner Brothers, AT and T, Mini Entertainment, future releasers of the Joker film. Um, yeah. HBO Max has given a series order to a period pirate comedy uh, titled "Our Flag Means Death" from Taika Waititi oh, and yeah. uh, writer David Jenkins. Who I don't know from. That's a great much. name. Honestly, um, yeah. if yeah. it's basically what we do in the dark, but pirates. Yes, I am on board. Is yes. that a win? Yeah. <laughs> That's, yeah. I am 100% on board. Or, if that's it. It would be, be a funny pirate show. A pirate show where the pirates never get a ship. Like they, they're trying to <laughs> yeah. get a ship, but they can't even like, get that. <laughs> they're they're just land. constantly yeah. drinking and complaining about how they don't have a ship. Oh, I feel like it should be like that they always go to drink and their rum is always empty. Yeah, that classic bit from uh, the Johnny Depp film. Um, but uh, it's all the um, wait, are you talking? Wait, which one are you talking about? Are you talking about the Lone Ranger, or are you talking about? Oh, oh, <laughs> there's like, no rum in the Lone Ranger. Fucking, what's that one? Rare no, rare you tell me he doesn't drink fire water. I will, oh. I will, I will contend that Pirates of the Caribbean one is pretty enjoyable. 
Eh, I'll say the first three. The first three, oh I, will go, I, 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 I can watch those. And I will tell you, if you go back and watch The Mask of Zorro, you'll be like, which is made by the exact same people, you're like, oh, this is a better version of all of it. Yeah, probably. <laughs> I, w- I would say it's like a it's like an early draft. You're like, oh, I see. A lot of the stuff is there. Uh, wait, 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 how, many, how many pirate is... movies are there? There's like there, seven. There's, there's, there's like 15 of them. One um, of them has Paul McCartney in them. Wait, oh, no, man, you're no, lying. Why? That's a lie. <laughs> no, it's true. He's in one of the movies. No, no he no. is. Okay, so I actually watched the fifth one recently, Wait, which, which I didn't hate. Which one is the fifth one? Is that the one with uh, Javier Bardem? That's the one where Javier Bardem plays Ghost Spaniard. Um, I can't remember oh, no. the name of the character. Salazar or something. Wait, um, I feel like that's his name in uh, the James Bond movie. No, I know no, Salazar uh, because no, he says no. it with the Spanish lisp. So Salazar. Salazar. Um, <laughs> so yeah, uh, that movie is actually not terrible, but Paul McCartney is in it. He plays Jack's uncle. Um, because get it? Of course he, he does. He Richardson played his dad. Look um, at him. Wait, wait. Paul McCartney <laughs> is his uncle. Oh god. Yes, he's Jack. Oh, he's Jack's uncle. And at one point, he's like, uh, "Ask for uh, Hangman Number X," and he's or sort of thing, and he's like. All right, I'll do that. Uh, he'll be, he'll be very gentle with you if you say my name. Um, and then he's off screen for the rest of the movie, I think. Uh, anyways, uh, something I'm actually excited for. Uh, <laughs> uh, I don't know. Taika Batini is. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> yeah, I feel like anything Taika Batini does, I'll give a shot. Because... Yes, yeah, definitely. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh can I can it. I just say I recently yeah, watched Jojo so... Rabbit? Fucking outstanding. Yeah. Oh, that movie's yeah. great. Yeah, movies were fantastic. Yeah, um, yeah. So I'm sure that this will be good. I, I mean, I could have put this in the speed round, but like, hey, why not? Why not yeah. put it here? See what happens. Um, so yeah, that's the that's the story. Really, we don't know yeah. what it's gonna look like or if it will ever actually be shot because they yeah. have it that are happening. But yeah, I don't know. Could be cool. It's a good name. Yeah. yeah. What's it called again? Uh, our, flag our flag means, means death. Okay. Yeah, it's good. Now, is it O U R or A R R? No, it's O U R. It should be A R R. Yeah. I feel like that's yeah. too on the nose. <laughs> yeah, like yeah, like. <laughs> yeah, you know, I mean, have you watched what we do in the shadows? The TV show. No, but like, like the, the title of it sounds like some legit. Like, oh, what's all, that? all like, I want is. Um, an enemy and you watch it. Oh my god, what's his name to play the Dread Pirate Roberts? Uh, every actor oh. from The Princess Bride to just be like as a bit. They're like, who are you? I'm, I'm sure the Dread Pirate be Roberts. A lot of stuff like that. They'll have like a uh, Matthew Modine will show up in an episode. Maybe <laughs> you never know. Well, they have the uh, uh, the bones of uh, Andre the Giant reanimated to play. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I do our <laughs> math. They gotta, they gotta get Russell Brand as like a a, a knockoff of Jack Jack Sparrow. Yes. Oh <laughs> yes. yes. As you first you said Russell Brand, I was like no, and then when you followed up as a knockoff of Jack Sparrow, I was like yes. Yeah. They <laughs> make him like no even dumber. Yeah. Why you wear a mask? Oh God! Actually, having the ghost of Andre the Giant would be great. Man. And oh, then, he can, then he can drink two cases of beer and take a dump in the tub. Yeah, and then <laughs> if, it's, if it's just a tub full of shit and like a like a keg of beer, like a keg of like alcohol next to it, that would be perfect. Yeah. Uh, no, oh that, is it, you didn't know that. No, yeah. under the giant would apparently have to take dumps in a, a tub. Sometimes he was too yeah. big for toilets. Yes, yeah. He couldn't use like he could not use like airplane bathrooms at all. Like. Yeah. Running on an airplane was like torture for him. All right. So you know how many of those? All right, just to show you how big he is, I'm going to post a picture of him holding a regular beer. Oh yeah, no, I've, this is amazing. Yeah. It's a little away for that. I didn't want like, to like, like, little, like a little, uh, like a gummy cola. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like a, yeah, it's like uh, just to point something out. So I didn't read this before. This show is based off of a real person's life. Oh. Which will be interesting. Oh, what? A guy named Steed so, Bonnet. Um, if you look at the chat, you will see the picture. That is. Oh like, God. In that uh, HBO documentary, there's a great uh, uh, like thing of like 
Gene, uh, mean Gene Oakland has like his ring or something, and it's like yeah. huge. Oh no, you want to see a picture? All right, this is from Conan the Destroyer to show okay. you how big he is. So this is right. Andre the Giant God damn it. and Will Chamberlain holding up Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> <laughs> so Arnold looked like a little bitch. <laughs> yeah, Arnold looks like a Arnold baby. Arnold had... Look how happy he is, though. <laughs> yeah, because it's the only time he's ever not the biggest man in the yeah. room. Oh, there, I found a picture of him on a plane. Oh, God. Yes. He just makes the plane just exploding. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Holy shit. Yeah, that poor guy. He lived a really rough life. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but he's got some sweet Oh my god, this man. is like a... I found a better picture <laughs> of like a Conan. So this is better scale. This is great for audio program. <laughs> yeah, this is fantastic for an audio program. Um... So okay, in this uh, picture, though, how many illegitimate children over under do you think these three men have? Oh, we'll Andre, lot, Arnold, they all, they all did. The Andre oh. fucked. We all know that. Well, here's the, the thing. Do you guys the know the conspiracy theory of Wilt Chamberlain? No, what? No, I didn't yeah, know this. I, I know you I've heard this before. This, yeah. Yeah. I feel like I brought it up before. That the reason why NBA players are so much bigger and stronger now is because oh, Wilt Chamberlain <laughs> went Genghis Khan on the entire United States. <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense. Is that yeah. basically he 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 changed the entire genetic gene pool? Like he changed is, the gene pool, and that is even why the, even the white players are sons. Yeah. Is, yeah. Does does that also explain Yao Ming? Is that what happened? He was yes, in China. He traveled around the world. Yeah, he scored a hundred in one game. Do you think he? Yeah. Like I think he said it, it was in like the thousand. Yeah. Is what they Jeez. say. How do you think we got the Hemsworths? <laughs> Everybody got a little wilt in them. Yeah. Like at some point, when there's enough, like twenty three of me, they're gonna be like, "Oh, every like how in Mongolia, one in every ten people is related to Genghis Khan." It's like one hey, in every ten... <laughs> yeah. one, yeah. one in every seven NBA players. Yeah, doesn't matter what country they're from. Freaking Dirk Nowitzki. Yeah, fuck. But yeah, oh, I should have fucked a lot. Mm-hmm. But uh, the the Tiki Watiti uh, pirate thing, Tekawiti. like that's it. Thank you. Um, uh, it, it we don't know much about it other than that it supposedly exists nebulously. Like yes. that's that's yeah. that's about and it with it. Yeah, yeah. and uh, as well, I said, yeah, it is things, based yeah. off of a real person's life, which doesn't really mean much. Does, I, don't, but... I don't know how much <laughs> it that might not means. Be as, it might not be as comedic as like what we do in the shadows it might be like you know well like, like jojo rabbit maybe yeah like even jojo, jojo rabbit, rabbit is still pretty funny him. though it's funny it but is, it's also but like, like not a it's not, it's, yeah, it's not, not what we do in the shadows you're right yeah, it's, no, it's not, not a like non-stop there, laugh yeah there are moments yeah. of seriousness so this show could get a little bit dark and one of the writers he wrote um on the what we do in the shadow series but he also wrote the night of mm. or on no. yeah. oh um which is a very like serious, heavy crime drama. procedural drama. Um, is that the so HBO you... one? Yeah. yeah. Yes. I've seen that in the first episode, did, uh... but it's fucking good. Oh, oh yes. Yeah. Yeah. The ending. Oh, the ending of the yeah. The Riz Ahmed, John Turturro. Yep. Michael K. Williams. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. John mm-hmm. Turturro. Riz Ahmed. Robot Water yeah. Sports. Yeah. Oh. Riz Ahmed, who then went on to do Venom. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, get a no, no, I don't he know was the, describe he was, what Borgullet did to him. He was, but... the, he was the bad guy in Venom. He was the slightly more right. black oh, Venom. Holy shit, you're right. He was Bull Borgullet guy, right? Yeah, yeah, he was the guy who gets Whoa. again. I don't know what pilot. to call what Borgullet did to him. Borgullet. Borgullet. Yeah, he gets blown up. Borgullet knows the truth. Um everybody yeah. dies in Rogue One. Come on. Yeah. 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 Every, I, so it, it makes it great. Even yeah. the bad yeah. guy dies in Rogue One. Yeah, it's, Everybody it's, fucking dies. Yeah. Everybody gets fucked up in Rogue One. Yeah. <laughs> and then Vader shows up and he fucks people up. It's great. Yeah. It's fantastic. Um, it's a great movie. And it's, it's kind of like funny that like I love the movie so much. You know, it sounds abysmal that like everybody dies. And it's like heroic and it's fucking great. It's oh, great. shit. I forgot. Do you know what he's in that just dropped? Mm-hmm. Uh, the Sandman audio drama. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. oh he's, he's, the, yeah. he's the Corinthian. Oh, Whoa. really? Yes, which is okay. like okay. so for mega nerds out there, that is fucking amazing casting. Yeah, that is. Um, 
can I just talk about there's a movie with Riz Ahmed where he plays a uh, kind of a detective. It's um I've seen this one. City of Lights uh, or something like that. Yes, yeah, City yeah, of Tiny Lights. I am. I yeah, have something. IMDb. Everyone yeah. should watch that. It's really a surprisingly good, like it's kind of noir, really um, noir movie. He's in, yeah. Huh. He's in Jason Bourne. I don't remember him in that. He's in. Part. Yeah, he's like this. Jesus Christ, uh, that's Jason Bourne. Is that the last <laughs> one? Is that the one with what's her name, who's also in Rogue One? Yes, it's a. Uh, he plays like a. Um, I'm a, guessing he's a tech. Guy. A Mark Zuckerberg. Yeah, he plays like yeah. a. Mark oh, he's the bad guy. Yeah, he plays his character of... from Venom. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, so on the news rundown, I had PS5 because I assumed all yeah, the talk about it. I'll talk about it. Um, yeah, uh, about a we can it's... go as long as you guys want on that. I, have I bought it's Super insane. Mario All Stars to sell in six months to buy. <laughs> <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> okay, my man. <laughs> on, on a so, serious note. Uh, the price is way less than what I expected. It's lower than the Xbox, yeah. right? It's the same. Mm. Same. Same. I think I, that's, that's I the console probably, thing, though, that they yeah. do, Hunter. Yeah, it is. But the thing is, I honestly thought they were going to try on their $600 price point. Yeah, I kind of yeah. expected that, too. I actually think that like their pricing hurts Microsoft because and I know some people are into the Xbox uh, Series yeah. S. It's like, why would you buy a Series S when you, for the same price, you can get a 4K system? Well, here's the thing. Mm. The Series X exists for people who, A, don't have 4K, which is a lot more than you think it is. Mm. Yeah, um, until this Black Friday. Yeah. No, actually, Lou, mm, I don't know. It's still going to be a pretty low number. Uh, it's for it's just so that they can sell Game Pass. That's really yeah. all. No, I'm doing. just saying, like, if you're looking at the two, I'm saying, like, I worked in retail, the GameStop. If you, at any point in your future, are going to buy a 4K TV, why would you spend 400 bucks on a system that can't do it as opposed to a system that it's can't? It's 300. Well, yeah, it's That's 300. Awesome. <laughs> well, so is it 299 or 399? It's 299. Oh, okay, shit. Okay, like, so you're making more... my point even more. No, 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 no Lou, Lou, you don't. You don't understand. It's they're trying to push. They're trying to get the ecosystem there out there. It's not. Yeah. It's not a thing. About four, here's the thing about 4K. It's not the standard yet. There's still yeah. plenty of people who still only have HDTVs. It's not. Yeah. If if honestly, I was I see your point, but if it was like further down the line, I would kind of believe yeah. that's the reasoning okay. more. My, like, my I, thing is that PlayStation has games. <laughs> yeah, uh, yes. PlayStation PlayStation is the the luxury system. Like mm-hmm. it's, I, it's yeah, the, and it has been. Mm-hmm. Yes, I know. I know. I said I have nothing to say, but I do have one point here. They're clearly going towards more of a cell phone like model mm-hmm. on the yes. Xbox yeah. side. Um, what do cell phone plans have? <laughs> yeah, um, it, it's it's a thing of like, well, if you already have it and you like it enough, and you have a 4K TV, why not spend an extra two hundred dollars more? Yep. It. it, well, it well, yeah. Well, here's doing that weekly or, uh, Xbox the monthly subscription thing that they were talking about. Yeah, Game well, Game Pass signed up. Well, yeah. that that's also a whole other mechanic. Yeah. Well, so here's like, uh, here like so like I'm one person. So I have a 4K TV. I had one. It died. But I have I had a One X. I have a Pro PS4 Pro. Mm-hmm. If I'm looking to upgrade, I don't give a shit about this. Yeah, no. So why yeah, should no. I buy the one the Series X but, over the PS5 digital? Because sense. you're an people, outlier. Yeah, when when people mm-hmm. like the the people who play Madden, like this is this is the same argument I have for like PCs. By the way, it's oh, can I also say I'm like half playing Devil's Advocate? No, I yeah, <laughs> no. I, let, I, let Hunter finish, guys. Sure. Yeah, so Hunter, yeah. The yes. the people, the the very casual people, like guys who only play Madden every year when it comes out, mm-hmm. they're not gonna care. If they only have a HDTV, they're gonna see yeah. a three hundred dollar system and they're gonna be like, "Okay, well, this I guess is the one that's getting." It's the same mm-hmm. argument with PCs that the the price you pay for a PC is like I paid fifteen hundred dollars for my PC. Damn I it. yeah, it's it's a thing of like if I were like a really casual person, I probably would not have bought the like this PC. Okay, yeah, yeah. I one hundred percent agree with you. As like, and I'm. I'm like six years removed from working at GameStop. Yeah. I am telling you, because I was there when the last gen came out. Um, 
And I'm saying, like, for this time, having the Series 1 and the PS5 digital at the same price, I think they're not, it hurts. They're not. They're not the same the price. Series, the Wait, Series X. I thought series, they were the series, same price. No, no. The Series S is the cheapest console on the market right now. It's $300. Yes. Oh, okay. The and the PS5 is 100 bucks more? Yes. The digital? The, P- yes. the PS5 discless is 399 Okay, okay. I guess I mixed that up. So there's a two ninety nine and a three ninety nine. Yes. Okay. It, I'm it, gonna tell you that like and I think Arlen said it before, the Series S is what people are gonna get their little kids. Yes. And that, anybody I, who like has any chance of like if they're getting a four K T V in the next three years is getting a PS five. Yeah, and I actually I actually agree with that. Because like yeah. It's, it's, but it's, again, it's a thing of like they're trying to get as much people into the ecosystem as possible so that what, so everyone who has an Xbox has Game Pass. Well, the, the other thing you're not thinking about too here is Microsoft announced the whole like uh, financing thing they're doing. Yeah. Which isn't, isn't going <laughs> to even really involve credit checks, if I remember correctly. Well, it's $35 yeah, for so like, two how- years. Holiday yeah. season, most stores do the layaways yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. No, but so this like is I don't. Thirty five no, dollars like, a month. Yeah. It's thirty five dollars a month for two years for the Xbox Series X, which will also yeah. include yeah. Game Pass Ultimate. And then, since EA's Play thing is getting bundled into Game Pass Ultimate, which oh, is those, really uh, that's fucking yeah, awesome at no extra uh, cost, and, which is insane. And, oh. And I'm like, I'm saying like, I'm a person that's going to have both. Like, and yeah, the this, EA thing is awesome because I do play some sports games. Yeah, um, Series S is going to be $25 a month. Yeah. They and that's doing, honest, They're doing yeah, a ridiculous 70, value proposition. 70% here. interest. Yeah. No, it's, there's yeah. no interest. Zero interest. No. Because well, yeah. Lou, they, want, they want you to stay on their subscription they, service. They, this is, they yeah. want. Yeah. Mm, they want pe- the, it, they want the Xbox to be a service. That's, that's yeah. What and, and I like look. I cannot argue. And I'm again mostly playing Devil's Advocate. Microsoft services are they're not even comparable to Sony. Sony no, a they're not. Dick. Like what <laughs> Game Pass gives you is so much. Like my Xbox One X died. Right. I haven't canceled my Game Pass because I have a PC. I can yeah. still play a bunch of fucking free games every yeah. day. It's crazy because I can still play most of the games I play on my Xbox on my PC. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's the thing. I that's the thing about like people that have PCs that can like really run good games. Is like, why would they? They're not going to buy an Xbox. No, and I'm. I honestly, I'm looking at this generation. I'm like, I don't know if I'm buying a console. <laughs> like, if you were, yeah. I'm gonna say you probably will get a PlayStation because oh, yeah, most no. of the PC, most of the exclusives for Xbox will also be on PC. Yeah, yeah. that's exactly they what will one hundred percent. Yeah. Also, yeah, I, like I'm not like I I had like I owned a 360 and I enjoyed it, but like I feel like. Just the exclusive games, Xbox, like, they don't have too many that are like, going to make me buy a new Xbox, no. you know what I mean? You don't want to buy the newest Halo? Well, I'm, like, I've never been into Halo, Gears. which I understand it's popular, which is fine. I, I like Gears, I don't know. but like, I'm still not going to buy a console for Gears, you know? I'll look at the memes of the grunts that people are making. That's funny. <laughs> um, but It really hurts, like, Microsoft in that regard, like, that Sony is such a kind of more multimedia company that they have Spider-Man and they have like these other Spider-Man is obviously the super big it's one. It's the biggest one they have, honestly. Yeah. So they have God of War, they have Uncharted, yeah. they have fucking like yeah. they have so many exclusive the, the Dark Souls uh, aren't the Souls games only on uh, not Demon to mention Souls. like Demon the, Souls. the the if Final okay. Fantasy is an exclusive. Oh, oh that shit, is that's that also a fucking insane. game changer. Which is like if it, it, uh, yeah. That is that if you look at Final Fantasy's history it was a PlayStation game. Oh, it became yeah, it not a PlayStation game for like a two games, a, two games, games, and now it's a PlayStation game again. I mm. feel like what was it like? Uh, thirteen was the one that jumped to sh- like jumped. Thirteen, thirteen. The thirteen series is the first one that were yeah that were on everything, and then Final Fantasy fifteen was the last one that is on everything. Yeah, because mm. fourteen was online. Fourteen is the online. Uh, the mo- Twelve the mo- and fourteen the mo- were online. And... Like, 13's when it had like two sequels. It's like a trilogy. Yes. Oh. Yeah. I don't know about good. I say, yeah, but yeah. It's, it's a trilogy. But, I didn't say, no, I didn't say good. I just said it's. It a, it a... It's when they tried to make like an emo girl character like Squall. Well, but, okay. Yeah. Uh, this is this will be a great topic for another podcast, but because <laughs> I could get into it. Uh, but yeah, the the thing about uh, like PlayStation is they are. I consider them to be the console company because they're like 
they're they them and Nintendo are both the co- the companies that I look at them and I go, well, they make games for console. They're not they're not like Microsoft. And Microsoft has PC, and they're yeah. they're just trying to like make games more accessible to everybody. Which is funny because like yeah. I, I when I think of the companies in my head, it's the other way around. Like Sony's in so many has hand their hands in so many more things. Yeah, yeah, they're the more concentrated gaming company. Yep. It's crazy to think about. But I think it, it, it makes sense when you think of, uh, if you've listened to, which I feel like we could do like a whole other show again, talking about like the, um, was it the uh, worst, best movies never made, the Halo one? Yep. Like, oh, that explained to me a whole lot about what Microsoft is about. <laughs> well, it, it, it does, but I think a lot has changed since then. Uh, we hope. I, I, I Well, so, somewhat has changed, um, but yeah, um, I don't think if Satya Nadella was in charge uh, when that movie was happening, that things would have gone the way that they did. Exactly. It's yeah. um, can, can I can I just say one thing about Xbox? It's weird. Is like okay, so remember they like they acquired Rare, but then they have Rare just do like fucking yeah. Side, oh, side they, have, they have an X. It was they have an Xbox exclusive Battletoads game for the Xbox. Uh, actually, and so the yeah, game actually they, rules. Like the new one that, rules. Yeah. Like, oh, I'm not saying he doesn't, things. but like that's but they're not letting Rare like really. They're not letting Rare really like get out there and fucking pump out like really good new shit I, or like. I, I will say they did learn from that because if Do you look they, at the, the acquisitions they have now, they're all working on new games. Like oh, not they, they they also, Ninja, 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 Team Ninja, or whatever the fucking Team uh, Three? Team Ninja. I can't remember the name of it. Ninja Three. It's, yeah, didn't it's one of those. Also buy, Heavenly, Sword, Heavenly Sword and fucking and yeah. Hunter, didn't they also buy Mixer? Yes, they died. Well, and then they Mixer. died. <laughs> so it's funny because I didn't realize that Mixer was its own company before Microsoft came. And then Mixer unexpectedly just dies. Uh, yeah, uh, they're like, oh, let's make a Twitch competitor. And it died. It's like the, oh, the South Park thing. And it's gone. I feel like you know, somebody's making bad decisions at acquiring things at Xbox. Because, like, they, they, I hope they like let Ninja th- Team or whatever Ninja Theory do like it, actually do their thing. Like, they're making three. Them. They're making three games that studio. So it okay, that, okay. supposedly they find their loss. Hopefully yeah. they're gonna let them do their thing and stop like you know do what they did to Ray and, and kind of like stifle and, them a little. And bit. the thing is like really? to go like I I like what Microsoft is doing where like you can like upgrade which they did with like the 360 for a chunk mm-hmm. two mm-hmm. the yeah. one I like that and it's cool. But I also respect Sony's like we don't give a fuck attitude at the same time of like Oh you mean like uh when Kaz Harai was telling people, Well, if you can't afford it, you need to just get a part time job. You mean that? Yeah. I can I can respect it's like, I can respect the, uh, <laughs> go fuck yourself in this of it. Like, you need to get on that corner and sell that cocaine. What are you doing? You know, <laughs> as, sh- as shitty as that, that is, I kind of really love it. Yeah. yeah no, like, I, mean, I, would, I would love it more if he's like, yo, go buy the Mario games and hold them on and sell them so you can buy our system. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> get your parents' credit card. It's like yeah, a dresser exactly. right there. <laughs> um, yeah. It's just like a thing of like, it also, on the rare thing, if you believe the rumors, supposedly they're working on a new Perfect Dark thing. So oh, they're, yeah. they're, they're that worked out well last time. When they yeah, it worked out system. really great. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh god. Hey, oh, that's oh. free on Game Pass or forever. Hold on. Guess what? I refuse to put it on my system. Have you? Even have though you it's broken. The, have you heard the rumors about what 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 they're calling that game's development? They're, they're, oh, they're like, there's this whole thing of like how the um, I can't remember the name of the studio, but how it's a quadruple A studio. Oh yeah, that's not, good. I, that's I, not a good sign. I have never rolled my eyes more at a phrase than that. Yeah, like, do they understand that like they're getting? It's like an analogy to a sport where there isn't that, and after you leave AAA, you go professional. So yeah, why they yeah. just call it professional or like Jeez. pro. Here's the thing: I don't think Microsoft's PR understands that because like. That this is the same company that wanted you to call the Xbox One the One, yeah. Oh, and when I worked at GameStop, we just wrote Xbone on it. Yeah, the yes. Xboner. No, oh, yes. also the company that was like, "All right, we're going to come out at five hundred bucks with this camera that no one fucking wants." Well, <laughs> that was that was yeah. somebody else who was really pushing on that, and that guy is it's, no longer, yeah, no longer with Microsoft. The same guy who thought that the the Xbox was going to be the new water cooler. 
Yeah. <laughs> oh, you mean when they were like putting out all these ideas that three years later people were like, wait, I can't trade in games because then I they, can't play them um, anymore? Three years later, no, it was after Sony's press conference that everyone's like, oh my oh, god, yeah, that's a really bad idea. Xbox. If you watch, if you watch that that com- the, the the reveal. Almost mm-hmm. all of that they backpedaled on. Oh like, no! What I'm saying is, like three years later, people were still like, "Wait, confused about everything." Yeah, they uh, were. All that bullshit. It's That's funny because were. there's like a uh, on the Super Best Fun Cast, a, a video game podcast I listen to for news. Um, the, the Pat, one of the um, the hosts, yeah. talks about how uh, his dad thought that the Xbox One was still always online all the way up to like the release of Street Fighter Five. Oh, mm. Jesus Christ. I'm Jesus telling you, crazy. as somebody who worked at GameStop past Street Fighter V's release, yeah. I was still getting those questions. No, I, like, I 100% believe long it. Long later. Yeah. Like, along with the, like, wait, I can't get Mario on the Xbox? Like, I remember playing Mario on the yeah. Xbox. That's, Bitch, you're, that's, like, you're like 30 years old. Like, that's how? just idiocy. That's, that, yeah, that's, that's, I think it's just brain damage. Yeah, See, no, I, I would... Think- that's yeah, why I'd be fired from GameStop, honestly. And, and, until you work like retail at like a place like that, I feel like you overestimate the intelligence of normal consumers. Oh, here's the thing: I worked in grocery for like eight years. I I know how stupid people are. Okay, yeah. Yeah, there's that, but like in in like the amount of moms, grandmas, yep. and every other 2020 version of Karens that you could think of, I have sold stuff to them all. And answer their dumb shit questions. Yeah. Anything See, retail it, retail's oh, is fucking is the worst. Yeah. The worst. But there's retail and then there's like that niche retail and like yep. working mm. a retail job where you're getting customers, especially in the holiday season, who have no idea what the fuck they're talking about or buying because they're buying it for someone else is an entirely different type of hell. It's uh, it, it's a thing of yeah. like people the general public is stupid. Like it's not yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's, no, it's humans. Yeah, humans yeah, are just doing shit. Um, but, can I say yeah, something real quick? Um, about PS5. Okay, so... It's, um... You get, like... I guess, how do you explain? So, um, the Plus Collection that they had they announced was pretty yeah. cool. So yeah, you know, that's awesome. Like, classic, you know, PS4 Classics and, like, mm-hmm. at launch of the PS5. Supposedly, that is based on the top 100 most played uh, PlayStation games. Which yeah. is, yeah. I saw like Arkham Knight on there, which makes sense. Like God, it, Uncharted 4, God of War, Last of Us Remastered, Bloodborne, Batman Arkham Knight, Fallout 4, Mortal Kombat X, and there's more of those. Like, uh, Witcher 3 was on there. Final Fantasy 15. Yeah. Last honestly, Garden, Resident Clank. honestly, if that's their backwards compatibility, that's not that's not a bad way to do it. People are like, <laughs> it's a people good are like, like, hey, if you can only afford the console, you can get games with it. You don't have to yeah. buy games, you know? Yeah. It's well, like a, it's, it's a thing of, like, people who complain about backwards compatibility. It's like, nobody wants to play fucking uh, Techno Mage or whatever the <laughs> fuck. There's <laughs> emulators for all. Like, <laughs> all yeah. 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 So, like, but the other thing is, like, I would I would, don't want my system to be slowed down so that, mm-hmm. it, you're, like, five guys can play some douchey game. I, I absolutely yeah. agree with that. Um, cause like, if like the, I don't think the PS3 had that problem a whole lot from what I remember. It was a long time since I plugged in my PS3. Um, uh, no, it didn't really like it played PS2 games fine. And then yeah. well, there was no, that weird wasn't... random one that played PS1 games. There was the first generation of PS3s was completely backwards compatible. The, and the, then yeah, the first gen fat ones, I think they were like yeah. 40 gigs. And then everything after that, they stopped because, or it stopped yeah. being backwards compatibility yeah. because they didn't want to pay to have the chipsets in there. Yeah, that yeah. would actually make it backwards it's like, compatible. It's even more confusing because it's like there's the one that goes all the way back, then there's like two of them that go to PS2, and then there's mm-hmm. none, and then one of the slim ones does PS2 games because there's like six different. There's like yeah. I think yeah, from my memory, there's like twelve different versions of PS3s. Mm-hmm. There was, like, they went a little crazy. There's like yeah. four fat ones. There's for like a two, mediocre system. Yeah, yeah, for like there's like four different hard drives for the fat ones, and then there's two different builds of the slim ones. There's the slider top loader, mm-hmm. which is mm. the dumbest fucking looking thing on earth. Yeah, and then the well, regular I, slim. Yeah, the regular slim did not do backwards compatibility. No, so the top, one of the top loaders did. 
Yeah. I prefer the one that you just like put on your tooth and bite like a cyanide capsule and just <laughs> <put you laughs> pretty it's good. It's like Javier Bardem in Skyfall. <laughs> yeah, it's like that. Yeah, I'd, but uh, something something you've said before, Lou, is that my biggest thing with with the new systems coming out, like, yeah, I'm excited about some of the stuff, but I I'm just gonna wait because yeah, I have a, yeah, I have a one X and I am completely content with yeah. it. And I have a pro I, that's gonna be fine for. I don't, yeah, I don't see how how stuff can look any better than it does. Like, mind you, yeah, I. All right, I spent some money and bought an OLED TV like a couple of years ago. <clears throat> and don't get me wrong, stuff looks great on it, but there's nothing that can really put out the type of graphical fidelity that's going to catch up with that no. type of display. No, not until so, we get some like 8K TVs. Like, yeah. And then that's, I feel like the systems are always going to be like kind of one, like a half behind. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, so, and I know that there's, like, a couple of 8K TVs, like, kind of Honestly, out there. I, yeah, I look like at, like, $7, I was watching the footage for Miles Morales, and I'm like, this is a real, like, you can tell it's a launch game. Like, it's like, yeah. and, and yeah. like, I'm, that's not discouraging. I'm not, like, it, it looks great. Like, it looks beautiful. It looks honestly. cool. It does look like more of the Spider-Man game, which is mm-hmm. not bad, but yeah. also just, like, hopefully it looks even better when it's actually. Yeah, like, it, it's just, it's a thing of, like, I I have my PC now, and I'm like, I don't need to rush to buy one yeah. of these. Also, like, yeah. we're getting, I, I, and it's going to be interesting to see, like, in general, like, is there a point where it just can't look better? Well, I <laughs> see what, what they talk about is, like, like the Uncanny Valley kind of thing. Like, the, the idea is there's a, eventually. There's a mathematical thing about that where distance like, and how close you can be to the screen affects yeah. how much you can perceive. It, um, it's like they'll eventually like um, they'll eventually uh, like the, the technical fidelity will be like created more gradually mm-hmm. where it'll be like particles and stuff will be getting better but like it'll um, still yeah. My like smoke opinion, I feel like in general games don't need to try too hard anymore to be like Okay, so for example, like feel like I feel like Red Dead Redemption looks already as good, great as it's gonna be, and I don't mm-hmm. I don't care if games don't don't ever get past that, but um I want games to like expand more on like the technical side of like like No Man's yeah. Sky what it does with that like games need to kind of like yeah. learn from that. Well, that's like, that's probably what it'll look like. Yeah, you can travel through a whole fucking galaxy without having to load like it's not loading all of it at one time. It's just like hey, mathematically it decides it's gonna load this area that you're in, and that's mm-hmm. it. And it's like. It works really well, and it's like more games need to kind of learn from that and like expand upon yeah. this kind of technical thing. I feel like, just like yeah, you know, it's instead of that just plus like what we can do peripherally, which I feel mm-hmm. like every single generation experiments with, and then it tanks. But like, mm. I feel like that is the inevitability of like the next real good step. Yeah, is well, like I- a better peripheral than a controller in my hand. Mm. And that's the thing with the uh, the connect is that. Technically, that was a ridiculously powerful peripheral, but nobody was doing anything for it because it was so complicated and powerful. Like, oh yeah, some, people like, still use those. Yeah, for hospitals like, use yeah. that. Like, surgeons mm-hmm. use the, that. The for Connect like Two is stuff. like a baller fucking camera. Mm-hmm. The Zach Baggins uses to fight ghosts. You know. Oh, fuck <laughs> off. Yeah, it just right. I, yeah, I'm also at a point now where like I. I only have so much time left on this earth and I don't, ha- <laughs> yeah. I don't have enough yeah. to play every game that comes out. Like I exactly. ache mm-hmm. to play Spider-Man and God of War, but I Wait, have, Xbox. have a family, you know? Yeah, well, mm-hmm. kind of, I have two boys that are almost done with school so they can get the fuck out and move on. <laughs> no, kidding, <laughs> kidding, kidding, <laughs> kidding. Good job. Kid. Yeah. Yeah. Well, like, how, many, how, much, how many copies of Super Mario 3D all-stars did you buy? <laughs> I didn't buy any of it. And enough to get him through college. <laughs> See, but mine came That's... with magnet sets. Those are at least worth like two hundred bucks a pop. Just a magnet. Ooh. You're you're talking like it's my problem once they're eighteen. Oh, I'm not talking about I'm not talking about their colleges. I'm talking about you getting a next gen system. Oh well, that's yeah. Well, I mean, I'm hoping that GameStop will have a similar deal that they did, like with the Xbox One X. Where oh yeah, that's right. In oh, and, yeah. yeah, get like three hundred off or whatever the fuck. Yeah, it my was. goal is to trade in my broken One X that I took the mm-hmm. hard drive out and say like, oh, it doesn't work, so I can only get like a hundred bucks for it. Mm-hmm. Oh, right? No. Yep. Yeah. 
That's and um, that's one last yeah. thing. Oh, sorry. Go ahead, Asa. No, no, no. I, I was going to change the subject, but you guys go ahead and finish this up. I just, I just something I'd asked in the chat hunter, and I never got a response from you. So thanks for that. Um, so, wait, what? <laughs> fucking <laughs> that bitch. Was, uh, I don't respond to no one. Was, uh, on, I have an external hard drive for my One X, and I mm. know with the Series S and Series X, they're doing a, a like in-house type of uh preferral for uh for their memory so i'm kind of worried that i'm not going to be able to transfer over any of like my saves or anything Ooh. like that yeah that's a good point uh because they haven't not, really talked I, about that I'm yeah pretty that's sure something you can't. yeah i think awesome. the only things that are transferring over is like maybe cloud saves oh god yeah. Xbox? I, have a, I have a two terabyte hard drive like i'm not no no. Yeah, I know. That's. Oh, no. I I, mean, I don't know. Just, I mean, it'd be stupid if they didn't. Honestly, just yeah. from a just from like a tech perspective, I would hope Microsoft would, be... would think about that, and that they would give you the option to use their cloud to transfer stuff, not to store it there. Yeah, um, you think, the, but that's yeah. still, yeah. it's still. Do you remember the, the data? Do you remember yeah. the debacles with the three hundred and sixty? You had to get like that. Oh, no. When they cable. changed the versions, there was that special cable to get yeah. the one that had the hard drive that popped out and took the not shitty 360s with the yeah. ones with the working fans. My 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 stepdad has like like 30 hard drives with movies on it that he acquired, oh, let's God. say. <laughs> and I, like my stepdad is a giant Doctor Who fan, and he like he rescued like, off of a fallen tr- uh, after they fell off of a. Uh, yeah, he was vehicle. in the in the fire that destroyed all the doc- mm-hmm. original Doctor Who, or whatever. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. He uh he, he has those cables like around the house at my mom's house, and I'm like, dude, wow. come on! I know it's crazy. I mean, he has multiple of them. Why not he, just, bought a, he clearly bought an HD DVD player and oh, no, yeah, probably yeah. the same cord. Oh no, so, your stepdad was part of a heist where they all wore clown masks and you know, killed each other. Yeah, <laughs> each other was skipping yeah. a bus and crashing the wall. Yeah. Your, your like the heist was, from the first Fast and Furious. I was yeah. just going to say, your, your stepdad was part of a really shitty, like, Biden <laughs> episode or movie of uh, Fast and Furious. Or it's a <laughs> story. Yeah. He, He's in the Italian job version of Fast and Furious. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm trying. I cannot remember what is uh, what is that sh- that South African movie with the robot, like where they built it. Chappie. Oh, Force. Chappie. Chappie. He's trying to build a like his an, a, like a New God. England version of Chappie, but with like <laughs> HD DVD players. And clam chowder. Clam <laughs> <laughs> chowder. That's hilarious. He's That's feeding a clam That's chowder hilarious. and lobster rolls. <laughs> That's and just, play, just playing like um, Affleck and Matt Damon movies. You guys have another topic after this? Because I was going to bring up something. No, uh, no, go ahead. That, that was it. Yeah, go ahead, um, man. So I've seen at least three episodes of Doom Patrol, and I fucking love it. And oh, I, love I it finished was, the season. Over... It's fantastic. Uh, so I didn't expect yeah. it to be that adult. I thought it was going to be like, kind of like a maybe like you know teen or. Kitchen Are you on or season or one or two? Season one. Oh, okay, I just started yeah. watching it. <laughs> no, um, but yeah, I just started watching it. Um, it's amazing. I love how it's. I feel like it, it can switch the really well to like serious, sad shit, and also comedy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like wacky, wacky over the top comedy. Yeah. yeah, you haven't seen shit yet, and possibly it's mm-hmm. the greatest thing Brendan Fraser's ever done. Oh, yeah, yeah, he's definitely. amazing in that um, show. The whole cast, I love. I think they're all great, but I feel like um, the kid who plays. Cyborg is fucking amazing, and he's like, "Oh, he is the uh, best version of Cyborg we've ever gotten yes. in anything." And, I, and, and I'm not hating on Ray Fisher. I think Ray Fisher's okay. He's good, <laughs> but like the kid Javon Wade is his name. He's he's, fucking... he's awesome, and they get to do so much cool shit with him. Like, and again, mm-hmm. his story in like when you get through it, like his story in season two gets into some of the stuff we talked about way like three hours ago. I feel like, um, oh, yeah. and. Yeah, he is great, and there's some really cool shit. And it's, it's again to go back to literally our first story, like that DC universe. Like they invested, Warner Brothers gave money to people to make shows that look good, and they got good actors. Like, yeah, and he's like a nobody when in that show. Like he's probably the smallest name in that in that season one. Exactly. Yeah, like they got fucking what's his name? Was it uh? Guy played James Bond, fucking uh, Timothy Dalton. Yeah. Timothy Dalton, yeah, yeah. And fucking, uh, they got the guy Alan, Matt, Alan Tudyk. 
Alan Tudyk, Matt Bomer is from Suits. That's the guy that plays yeah. Native Man. Um, yeah, Matt Bomer's good. Like they all, they all great actors and all the bigger names than Javon Wade, but he's kind of like the lead. Like he's the one character who is not in Doom Patrol, but he makes sense because he's the actual actual hero. Mm-hmm. He can lead them. Yeah. Yeah. Is it's he a British? Show. Who? Brandon Fraser? No, Larry no, no, no. Um, <laughs> Javon Wade. Is he British? He is was he? in EastEnders. He was in do- a couple episodes of Doctor Who. Was he oh, in uh, oh. Peaky Blinders? No. No, he's not in Peaky Blinders. He's I, know, I, I, in Peaky Blinders. I, I, I was really I hoping for a Peaky Doctor Blinders yeah. First Nation. <laughs> I love, I love that, I love that oh, show. Yeah, he's English. He is he from... Peaky Blinders. He's from, Are from you Davenport. <laughs> he's from Louisiana, <laughs> London. Hmm. Yeah. He's okay. also <laughs> in... He's in Hope the first perch. Oh, yeah. I'm here to meet with a man named Davenport. <laughs> <laughs> About some Peaky shotguns. Peaky fucking blinders. <laughs> Peaky fucking blinders. Okay, I'll stop now. I'm right. looking. It looks like he was like a British child actor. Oh. He, yeah. well, he He's like things. the I British he was like Tolkien. Yeah, his <laughs> accent is like, I did not know that. Wow. There's a lot of uh, uh, British actors. Like even like a, a lot of like black British actors that like, just fool me and think they're American. I'm like, oh yeah, what's up? Yeah, you're one of us. Like, oh no, he's yeah. British. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> so it's, well, he's just on the island of America then, basically at this point, with the way British mm-hmm. politics are. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Yeah. Nice. He's also nice. so young. I now feel so <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. Yeah, that guy. That guy's great. Like the whole cast is great, though. Um, um like I like um the one shake April Balby because she's a. So oh, she had like a small role. In, like, oh, yeah, she had a small role in like uh, two and a half men as like a bimbo girlfriend of like Charlie Sheen. But then yep. on this, she's like, oh, Rita, she can right? actually like, yeah, she can actually do some yeah. fucking good shit. Like, you know, she's yeah, strange. she's great. Yeah, she's a a really good actress. Yeah, uh, I was jokingly calling her character um, Lana Del Rey. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I had this. I had similar a similar thought. Like, oh my god, yeah. it's Lana Del Rey. <laughs> Oh my like, god, I'm looking good. at her IMDb and she's in a thing that I forgot existed that I thought disappeared. Um, <laughs> That's... The weird Heathers TV show that got made. Oh, and then I that no. Yes, it was. That was on MTV. It got released it? on something, didn't it? It was, it was going to be on the Paramount Network. Oh, yes, god. which was formerly Spike. <laughs> yeah, yes. formerly Spike, Paramount Network, and then it disappeared because of real life stuff. Oh, then, well, also it was bad. Apparently, that was the other. That was the other yes. nail in the coffin. There, apparently, it was real bad. Oh, um, but the TV show based on Heather's. Who would have yeah. thought? Mm, such a well, shock. based on Heather's in twenty. That was filmed in twenty eighteen. Yeah. Wow. Mm. Mm-hmm. Who would have thought that would have been bad? Yeah, that thing that only like some some Gen X and millennials would know about. <laughs> yeah, <there's, laughs> it's like why do they make these things that are like. Kind of obscure, like only like ladies kids. Know yeah. About. Also, you want to make a movie where it's about like teenagers killing each other and committing suicide, so the Christian moms can have a fit. <laughs> God, <laughs> Jesus Christ! And doesn't it end with Christian Slater blowing up the school? I don't know. Does it? Wait, the original what? one? I'm pretty sure yeah. it does. Yeah. Right? Yeah, it does. Yeah. What Jesus. the fuck? Christian Slater, it's not me. <laughs> Christian Slater, you scamp. <laughs> that crazy Christian Slater. Well, on that note, um... <laughs> yeah, we should we should. Uh, yeah, do we want to wrap? Can I, yeah, can I just talk about one more thing? Uh, yeah. Every time I think about buying a pirated copy of Tenet, Christopher Nolan <laughs> teleports to my room and like he <laughs> yeah. teleports behind me with a sword and he's like, "Don't." Yeah, he, <laughs> he keeps telling me to wait for the Fortnite edition. Like I, I guess, so. <laughs> yeah, mm. yeah. Like I said, he, gets, mad. he gonna... gets mad when you bring that up. He's like, there's no, it's not going to show up Fortnite. <laughs> I want to watch Tenet on 52 video Game Boy Advance cartridges. Yeah, exactly. I want to yeah. wanna... find us and kill us like John Wick. I want to see a Travis <laughs> Scott concert and then watch Dark Knight Tenet. and Fortnite. Yes. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to buy the iPod Nano <laughs> and inspire the Apple Watch. Jesus Christ. And I'm going to hack it and put Tenet on there and watch it. But Hunter, that. in your version, does Travis Scott tell you how to eat McDonald's? Yes. <laughs> you have to go. We have to go say I Cactus tweet. Jack sent you. I saw a tweet that said like uh, someone put like a, a quote, a fake quote. They're like, "Oh, is there something wrong? You haven't touched your Travis Scott burger." <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> hey, is everything lit? That's you so barely stupid. touch your Travis Scott. <laughs> 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 uh, God damn it. That's oh, so funny. Oh, you should write that down. That should be the name of the episode. <laughs> <laughs> Travis Scott uh, Burger. We'll yeah, is everything like uh, you haven't touched your Travis Scott Burger? <laughs> AKA Christopher Nolan. Christopher Nolan will fucking kill you. <laughs> He's a tenant. <laughs> <I'm> a tenant. <laughs> Uh, I just I want right. to buy a Zune and download Tenet somehow. Uh, <laughs> but no, but there has been a Zune too that absolutely nobody yeah. bought. So yeah. I almost can, did. We, can we just wait for the shitty the shitty Tenet tie-in game made by EA or something? Oh my god! <laughs> oh my I just god. want to buy the loot boxes. The, yeah, the Tenet I or the Tenet uh, Instagram filter. The... Yeah, you were in the same phone, but no, you're talking about the wrong thing. We are waiting for the uh, the Morbius phone with the holes in the back. Yes. Yeah. Um, uh, so, since Tenet, since Tenet had like time travel where things move backwards, they should just make a fucking uh, sidekick for this, this version oh. of Tenet. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> going backwards. No, they're they're coming out with a new version of the Razor. They should just have it on there. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. All right. Plugs. Or the engage. Yeah. Uh, out of the Matrix. <laughs> I guess I will go. I will go first. Um, I'm going to be on movie dumpster very soon so uh listen to that when that comes out uh, I yeah it's out friday um let's see uh oh um there's a recently watched for uh los haro that is also going to be coming out tomorrow as of the time that we're recording this and a uh two hour top 100 movies episode that we recorded already uh, that will be coming out at the end of the month, and maybe another Bond we'll, if we can squeeze it in. So lots of stuff there. Uh, listen to that when it all comes out. Um, so which uh, Dragon Ball Z movie is your number oh, one? Oh no! Don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> I wish Eric had put like a Dragon Ball Z movie on the list just to fuck with me. Just dude, it, I, I, it's the kind of troll move I would have actually appreciated. Um, but no, uh, I don't think there's anything like that. Um, but yeah, uh, so uh, I think it would be Hunter next, right? Uh, teespring.com slash America's Boyfriend. Go get a shirt. There's one, There's a great one of me. It's my second grade yearbook photo. It's amazing. Uh, I have Twitch things in the works. Uh, I'll talk more about that when they're closer. Um, other than that, don't follow me on social media. And I know... You are going to bring up my username, <laughs> but please, I, I am begging you. <laughs> no, I'm just, I'm just curious. When are you going to make um, underwear with your second grade picture on it so I can give you a oh, nose? No. Um, see, but the question is, is it on the crotch or on the butt? Oh man, yeah, this is well, that's in or, <laughs> or, or is it both? Okay, we are it definitely on a watch list. It is. Is, is it the? Uh... <laughs> On the crotch, you could give him a nose. Then, um, dude, the NSA, <laughs> the NSA agent that is listening to this podcast. <laughs> See, I prefer uh, like a, a, a rapper style medallion with like fucking golden diamonds with like hunter, <laughs> the medallions hunters like as a kid. <laughs> oh, so I can get a hunter piece instead of a Jesus piece. Yeah. Okay, exactly. you guys are giving me ideas. <laughs> yeah. Are you gonna sell a Borat uh, one piece uh, hunter? That's the oh. real question. Oh, See, yes. I think you should sell a jock strap. <laughs> I just had I just had an epiphany. Hunter, we need to have a shirt where it's like me and you and we're both standing there with our arms crossed and we're posing like, you know, like nineties hip hop, but we're just like you know those shirts with like Tasmanian Devil and Bugs Bunny just oh, like yes, not, yes. Yeah, you're, you're Wait, like no, it should be a t shirt. It should be a basketball jersey. Yeah, and also I have a giant <laughs> joint in my hand and you <laughs> Yeah. Yes. And I got a gun or something. You got an Uzi. Yeah. And it's, it's that number sixty nine. Or you guys doing like the? We're gonna uh, make it look like a knockoff, so we're gonna have like the bad font that says like fucking some stupid shit. You know, it says "Cuddy, don't run on it." (laughs) (laughs) It says "God, that pussy." (laughs) The the other idea would be uh, for you guys clasping hands like Arnold and uh, and Fox's face from Predator. Yeah, Yeah, do that. Redo that scene, but just you two guys just doing that. Yes, it just says Antifa. It just says Antifa. (laughs) Yes. Yeah, he used to do what <laughs> they used. Yeah, he didn't know what love was. My actual brother, Hunter Davenport. You know? yeah. <laughs> yeah. You didn't know what love was until you made friends with Hunter. Uh, my name's <laughs> Eric. We're literally, literally brothers. 
Um, you can uh, find me at Eric underscore feeder on Instagram, the fish and dogs and cats and food and comics. Um, you can also find me floating around the Phantom Zone, doing things, saying things, whatever. Um, also, just real quick, some stuff that people should read. Uh, Hundred Bullets is a phenomenal comic series, and it's mm-hmm. done. So you can read all of that in whichever way you choose to find it. I will not judge yeah. you. Uh, yeah. Only, only, only my God can judge you. Um, you can buy uh, the Bible. Bible. Uh, only the yeah. goblins. Like the goblins that Greg if you want. Yeah, um, the, the goblins that Greg Greg Gots could judge you. That's the only. Oh thing. God. <laughs> um, what else? Uh, Lazarus by Greg Rekka is really good so far from what mm. I've read. Chew is really great, and so is Invincible. And uh, I stopped reading at one point, but I did like what I read. So which I one? Lazarus. Which one? Um, oh, yeah. I, I'm not very far into it, but I'm really liking it so far. It's really good. Yeah. And there's there's a million different ways that you can read these comics for yeah. uh, for yeah, steel. Fuck them. Yeah. So find it. Yeah, you know, because the comic companies don't give a shit about us. Uh, yeah. yeah, that's yeah. about or it. Or anybody me. that works for them. Exactly. Yep. Yeah. Uh, yeah. exactly. Okay, so uh, Lou, is there an yeah. obscure movie that you want to talk to me about for uh, like 20 minutes? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. yeah, we already tried that with the, that AP show. Um, so you can check out the comic show uh, where we talk about comic book news. Uh, we're going to be talking about uh, some Rocketeer books because our next movie, we're, so we just did Flash Gordon. So our second Timothy Dalton movie in this trilogy is The Rocketeer. We're going to see oh, that's him. a good movie. That's a classic. Yeah. Movie. Oh, yeah. we got to, we did like great. a group of bad movies. So we're like, oh, let's do a group of good movies. <laughs> uh, so we're going to see Timothy Dalton, how he doesn't age in a 10 year period. Uh, from 1980s mm-hmm. Flash Gordon to 1991's uh, Rocketeer. And um, I did find a show that Hunter needs to watch. Uh, no, it's I don't like this. Kimono Michi Rise Up. It is a wrestler dies and is reborn into a fantasy world with a destiny to slay monsters inhabiting the realm. But he yeah. loves animals. So he rejects that destiny and takes to raising the monsters as pets. This sounds like everything I love. Okay. That sounds it's actually, awesome. I will say... It is actually really good, and it goofs on Japanese wrestling. Yeah, and he is in love with anything that has fur, ears, or tails. Oh and god, it's only the whole season and it's only twelve. Yeah, up so it's, so it's perfect for me. Is what you're saying? Yes. <laughs> uh, All right. Let's, yeah. Is it? Is it? Do you have anything to write? Do you um, have anything else? I mean, follow me on Twitter or the Instagram if you want. I don't know why, but uh, it's. I don't even remember. They're probably different. One's like the Izza. One has an underscore in between. You'll figure it out. I think one is young underscore Kami underscore, and <laughs> you know one what? is just young underscore Kami. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta take it where I can get it. You know it. <laughs> uh, fuck X from right. Apocalypse, I guess. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, follow me on Twitch because yeah. I have zero followers on Twitch. <laughs> yeah. Oh, is a your uh, your one Instagram is is a underscore gray, unless you have a different one okay. at this point. Yeah, I changed it. I recently changed it. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Um, bye, yeah, bye, bye, everybody. I wish I was a little right. bit taller. I wish I was taller. I wish I was <laughs> a girl who looked good. I'm Stop. Taller. We'll get we'll get our YouTube. <laughs> bye. I am not that good at rapping, but every time I hear this <laughs> song, I think of Hunter. <laughs> <laughs>